Welcome back to the comic book Babylon. We got a lot of stuff to cover tonight, some big announcements. Hit that like button, guys, while the intro plays and stay tuned. No special intros tonight. We're no. just coming right at you guys. Let's just jump into it. It is time for the comic book Babylon. It Justin, is. how are you doing tonight, my friend? I'm good. You know, uh, the hair's not too crazy. So I think that's how we should judge how my uh, how my day, how my week's been. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, man. I am hopeful that eventually you guys will get me those pictures so we can finish up that project. Um, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, me too. I need to get to a McDonald's ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> Before <laughs> Justin shaves his head, at least. What's up, Ruben? Oh, man. I got to show off some awesome pictures Ruben uh, sent us via email. Oh, um, oh I, I saw I those. I got them downloaded, and I'm going to upload them here in just a few. Ruben uh, has been out getting it in. <laughs> that's weird. What's up, Legion? What's up, CJ? Uh, oh, CJ what's up, bro. Ryan? The GOAT. What <laughs> What's up, <laughs> Las Ruses, 1971? Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well from New Mexico. Awesome, man. Hope you're doing right well. On, Thanks for having um, me. Vincent Lee McLean. What's, What's going up, on, man? What's up, shrimp? What's up, Dan? What's up, Mister Superhero 87? Hope you're What's doing up, well. And we will never be banned from talking about Ted Lasso <laughs> ever. Unfortunately. What's up, Michael? Hope you're doing well. Oh, the chat jumped just a hair. That's okay. What's up, Josh Boyden? What's up, man? Look, he, he's showing off his secret identity. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Peaks, what's up, what's up? And what's up, B. Ramey, what's up? There we go. There we go. Now he's back. <laughs> All right, so it is going to be a fun night tonight. We have some big announcements, some yep. big books to show off, some big books. Big. I mean, I, I picked up some monsters in the last seven days, but y'all know the hunt's Friday, so I can't show them till next weekend. But I guess you picked up some bigger, some big books too. Don't worry, don't worry, I got it. I was Justin, say, did you buy anything fun? Yes, but not. I didn't buy any comics. I mean, that no fun comics. Okay, I was gonna say PG related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's all, all 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 my good pickups this week are toy related, which I'm sure everybody's surprised by. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like you haven't been going toy crazy lately, so. The, there's a reason for that. It's because hot toys are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they are. Justin, the Mando man, it's already hitting four fifty five hundred. I told you. I told big, you. Big books like dictionaries. Ryan said. <laughs> Is that uh is that open or is that like yeah that's new? open <laughs> yeah that's double boy I'm so pumped I told you I told I'm about you. to list it <laughs> so if anybody wants a Mandalorian hot toy I got one I'll sell it off of here we'll say four twenty five if it heats eBay it's going for five hundred plus whatever so Southern Comic Geek what's up guys what's uh, up, Jason? Don't, all right so before we jump into everything just Dustin what you got to drink tonight. Uh, got the, the little mini fridge here, slap full, some nice tasty Millers cause it is Miller time. So, uh, I got, I got six of those. I plan to drown down before we hit the hot topic. So I'll be ready to go with you guys. And don't worry guys. Don't worry. I do have the t-shirt unveiling that I told you guys on Instagram was coming and I promise it will not disappoint one single person. But there's only 16 people in here now, so I'm going to wait because I, I want to make sure we have a full crowd for this. And I'm telling you, man, there are a ton of people live right now, so. I don't care about that at all. <laughs> all right. Everybody Justin, knows this is the place to be. Come on now. <laughs> Justin, you got anything special to drink? Just a little Target brand water. <laughs> hey, everybody knows Kroger brand is the official bottled water of Two Brothers Comics, man. Give it the program, bro. Get with right, the program. I, Kroger, Kroger's too fancy for me. I got Publix water. Kroger's All like right. three bucks for a 30 pack. Yeah. All right. So the real reason why I asked that question, just so I could shut up, shut up, set up my response. Justin, <laughs> guess what I'm drinking? Oh, I hope it's a brojito. No, dude. Actually, I need to bring those back. But it is actually 
Earl Grey tea, like the Ooh. British make it, like on nope, Ted Lasso. Isn't that Wait, awesome? Is is that what we're doing? I'll go. I'll go make myself a cup of Earl Grey right now, du- dude. Really, you have it? That's awesome. Listen, I've got it. I've got it in K cup style to run through my Keurig. Oh, that is awesome. I do not know what is going on right now, guys. <laughs> so sorry. It's good, man. I used to drink this whenever I worked for Home Depot corporate. They had a little thing down in the, the for front like five door. minutes. <laughs> Look, it was a short contract by God because for like they, five minutes. <laughs> that it was longer than that. They did you dirty. They did you so dirty. <laughs> they did everybody dirty, but still, I enjoyed the heck out of Earl Grey for that four seconds. Mm. Anyways, we have a great, uh, great topic tonight. We have some big books to show. Sounds like Justin. <laughs> I'm holding it Sounds down. Like- That's all I'm saying. I got Miller Lite from the gas station. I'm holding it down, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I say let's get right into it, guys. Oh, I do want to later on, we did get a new member, so I do want to shout them out. Mm-hmm. And there's one more week to join uh, before we draw on that next bro box. So, uh, but let's jump right into it. Justin goes first. <laughs> All right. So here are my new comic pickups for the week. We've got Maestro War and Packs, number one. Cable, number seven. Dr. Afra, number seven. X Force, 16. Avengers, 41. So good. Ooh. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number one. Mm. Bite-sized, number two. American Ronin, number four. Once in Future, number 15. Of course, I got to support, uh, I've got to, I've got to support Mad Cave. I think I'm contractually obligated. Uh, Terminal <laughs> Punks, number three. And finally, we've got a Birch book this week. It's Hollywood Trash, number four. Right on. That's what I'm talking about. Dustin, you get to go next. Uh, uh okay. yeah. I'm going to be a minute, so. That's fine. Okay. All right. Lee. You non-kangaroo seeing son of a gun. What is up, man? Just saying, I don't think Lee is actually Australian anymore. Um, I have those same frogs in my backyard. Just just throwing that out there. All right, we're at 23. When we get to like 25, I'll show you guys the shirt. You get to 25, I'll show you guys the new shirt. All Can right, make so, predictions about what it is? No, you cannot. So I got this uh, awesome comic book calendar. Uh, these are very, very rare, low print run, hard to get. First appearance of all of these comic books set as these months for a calendar for the year 2021. So I'm probably going to press clean this, send it in the CGC. Um, I mean, just saying, just saying. I got Avengers 41. I got both covers because... Uh, the uh, the uh, cane toads, okay. Uh, the predator versus P- panther, uh, that is going in the bro box. Uh, I don't know if it'll go in this month's or next month's because me and Nick haven't seen, won't see each other probably before the next one goes out. We'll see. Uh, did pick up King and Black, I was peer pressured into that, so I grabbed another tattoo cover. Have not read it yet, I've only read one book this week. Uh, Stillwater issue five, I have like. Got something. I felt like a spider was on my face. That first appearance of Toka and Razor in uh, TMNT 113. I got the best of Leonardo. I think that's going to be the last issue. I think I'm canning that series now. Walking Dead issue seven. Really excited about that. Once in Future. 15, I think that's the last issue of that for me as well. Uh, 14, because it was in someone else's pullbacks box from last month, and I didn't even realize I didn't get it. And then uh, second print of 10, I think. Also, I got some stuff in the mail this week. 
Uh, Nick hooked me up. I've been meaning to get this from him for about six months. Captain America 327, first appearance of the, oh my gosh, I just blanked out. Well, there is, it's it's the first appearance of, of, yeah, I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh. Super Patriot. First appearance of the Super Patriot, uh, later revealed to be, um, I can't remember his name. I suck. Anyway, I got this awesome TMNT uh, issue 49. It's really cool. Eastman cover. This was like a one in 10 incentive or something like that. I just thought that was super cool. Pick that off of, off of uh, Thorough Comics. Keep it Thorough Comics auction. I also picked up super hard to find series, man. Super hard to find series. This is back from like 1994 or 96. I can't remember. Body count. TMNT body count, man. Very hard to find this series, especially in really, really good condition. Check out Casey Jones' mask there. I mean, that is sick, right? Yeah, I'm digging it. One, issue two, issue three. I mean, y'all thought April was was having them looking extra out there on that third print of TMNT 2. Like, body count three trumped that one. And then this is like the coolest cover. Body count issue number four. I mean, Raphael is looking crazy. And uh, this is definitely like, like, oh, it, I haven't read it yet, but this is supposed to be like a wild, super, like, you know, bloody and uh, uh, very, very gritty and hard knocks storyline. So I'm really looking forward to reading it when I get a, uh, probably going to buy a trade paperback of it because I'm, I don't want to open those, man. They're hard to find and those are really nice. And I got an AOK. -OK from Two Brothers Comics member uh, Thomas Thomas Zarobinski Zarobinski Thomas Z Two Brothers Comics member <laughs> he uh he sent me this and uh, what's up Stevie B what's going on man Matt what's, what's up Greg Kirby, Kirby Matt Greg so guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh I'm gonna open this AOK -OK real quick and I'm gonna show y'all the new T-shirt y'all don't go nowhere you gonna you gonna be sad. All right, while you're opening that up real quick, I'm going to show off my new comic book day pickups, and I'll save the big books for afterwards. Okay. All right, so I picked up Abbott, 1973. And, guys, let me know if for whatever reason if my audio is off or it sounds weird uh, because I'm using this new mic. Hollywood Trash. Terminal, of course, because, right, you got to support the Birch books. Terminal Punks. Uh, Avengers I failed one. that this week. Once in future, the next Batman, two, King in Black three, which was freaking phenomenal, so good. Oh, Justin, this one's for you, my friend. I'm Looking. excited to get that one. I don't, that, I don't do, I don't do variant covers, but I saw that one and I went, yep, I, I need to try and track that one down. And that is 100% courtesy of Josh over at Haven Comics. So big shout out to him um, for hooking you up. And then I got Absolutely. this awesome variant comic uh, for ASM 55. Again, I've kind of been off the variant stuff like you. And I saw this last time. And man, it was still sitting there. And I just had to get it. I mean, that red against the blue, it is gorgeous. So I went ahead and picked it up. So... All right, you ready, Dustin? I am ready. All right, so I got this box opened up. I don't know what's inside. He ain't told me what's inside, so we'll see what it is. All he told me was that it was something kind of low print run. He had an extra one, said he was didn't want to eBay it or anything. And uh, he said, I hope you don't already have one, so we'll see. I don't have a lot of things, so. <laughs> okay. Look, they're messing with me, and now, like, I'm sitting over here, like, trying to go back and listen to myself muted. <laughs> that, huh? that's, Look, that's, guys. That's the team Dustin right there. I'm trying so hard, so hard, and, like, now I'm all super self-conscious that, you know, I went out all and spent right. all this money, and it's not working right. All right, show it off. All right, I'm going to show it off where I can't actually see it, so tell me if it's cool or not. Holy shoot, a Hulk 181. Nah, he knows I wouldn't want that. I'm a whole 180 guy. All right on. So this is a last Ronin issue number one. Uh, looks like an exclusive. 
That's nice. Right on, man. Appreciate That's that, awesome. Thomas. Let's see. Uh, let's see which exclusive this is. Uh, top of the bag is already kind of tore, so I just tore it the rest of the way. I'm um, sorry. I was very nervous about that whole thing going on right there. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't say which exclusive this is. Or is that a uh, like a um, a ratio? No, they only did the one in ten and one in twenty five. Um, but I can I could look in here and and see inside the cover, you know, where they list every single one of them. I can tell you which one it is. So this is the Comics Vault. That's uh, nice. Comics Vault Virgin variant for uh, last rolling issue number one. That's awesome. I Heck really yeah. appreciate that, Thomas, man. That is super cool, brother. I definitely appreciate that, man. I yep. did not have that. And Thomas, your stickers are in the mail, your sticker pack. So, And I will be putting the books that you purchased from me in the mail this week, as well as a package to Wheelchair Superhero and our yep. brother Ta uh, Tosh Nosh. All right. Nosh. Hold on, hold on. Before you go, before you go, let, 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 I'm going to give it to you guys. Are you all ready? I don't know. This is going to be weird. All right, guys. Here we go. Please just rip the buttons. That would have been too funny. Oh, no, dude. We're not ripping the buttons. Not on the Captain America shirt, man. Come just don't on. show anybody your belly. That's, Is this that's... an OnlyFans channel now? Oh, hey, I did say last week when I was selling on so the Comics Geeks channel, I said, look, if y'all don't buy books from me, I'm going to have to go start an OnlyFans to get some books that I'm trying to get. So y'all need to help me out. Y'all ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's right. That is so much better than I ever expected. That is right. And don't worry. I did not come to disappoint. There you guys go. You guys can soak that in all day long, baby. <clears throat> all day. All right. So I'm thinking, two, baby. I'm thinking we could genuinely put that up and just reverse it, not neg or like negative space it and save a ton of vinyl. But that is cool. Yeah. So. Uh, if you guys want this in the bro shop, we can put this in the bro shop. Oh my God. We can put this in the bro shop. If you, if, if we get enough people that want, want one. So, um, but I will tell y'all this, I will tell y'all this. That's going to cut. That's that gray is going to change very soon. <laughs> Me and Skeff figured it out, baby. We sat out here last night to almost two o'clock in the morning me and my brother Skeff figured it out and we're changing we're changing the world and we're changing this grade on this book. <laughs> Boom, we need that shirt. <laughs> oh man. I'm just saying I, I need I'm, I need some I need I need a 92 hat something. <laughs> wow. What's up Jeff? What's up Josh What's Olive? Up, man? What's up Josh? Made it just in time. Flash, hello, hello. Um yeah, I think we're getting close to, to hitting everybody. If we missed you, we apologize, but we're super pumped to have you. Now, here's the big books, guys. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Uh, Josh, we I did show Justin the book that you you gave him, so he was super pumped about that. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that very much. All right. So we got us a little turtle action going on here. Ooh, what issue is that? Nah, 61. 61? Yeah. Why'd you buy that? And then I also picked up 56. I'm saying, why, why'd you get those? Look at them. But what the do you on the... Dude, those are sweet. Oh, and then Ghost Rider, uh, number four. Yo, do I need that one? Dustin, you're an idiot. These are the ones that the comic geek left for you. Oh, it is. That's right. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, he just told me he left those for me too. And and I, I didn't even remember that like those were them. I'm like I swear, I think I had that Ghost Rider. That was the one that kind of clicked. I think I got that. <laughs> yeah, Jason, thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate you hooking those books up, man. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at that. Oh, God, here we go. Nick's got Sub more of my books. Submariner 11. No, these are mine. Oh, yeah, they are now. <laughs> Submariner 7. I won these in an auction. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I won this, this DA... He bet 15 or he put, put a bid down for 15 bucks. I bid I 16 did. and he folded. I mean, who does that in 10 hey. for some 
because I knew you didn't really want them as bad as, as I would. And you were just trying to drive the price up. So I was like, well, I'll turn the tables. Cause if I want them from you, I'll get them later. <laughs> All right. So that's cool. I paid $16 for those. Can't beat it. And gorgeous. Oh man. Beautiful books. But that's not even the big books. Those those aren't even the big books. Man, that, that's hilarious. <laughs> so um Kachung man, he and I made a trade uh where I sent off some Hawks and Pox books to him. He's I picked out three books and he sent uh basically we traded, right? So Kachung on Instagram and uh, YouTube here, but the first one is Adventures Comics 432. So that is a wonderful Spectre cover. I love that so much. Uh, and then this one is one of my favorite covers from the Flash run. Mm -hmm. uh, I love love that. I mean, just so is that good. what Wally looked like after Barry ran past him? <laughs> no, Wally <laughs> would just be best. <laughs> Wally would be gone. And then Walking Dead, this is the J. Scott Campbell blind bag it's sealed well i need to talk to kachun see if i you should open no it's like, like those are like literally everywhere those books are everywhere yeah. dude they're, they're not really like yeah. something crazy well let me uh like the 100 bags inside have books that are like super expensive but you got to open the bag to find them yeah i'm gonna message him and see so that's a cool cover justin tell me this one isn't awesome i love this so much oh man that's actually a really good story too is it? Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and that's coming from someone who like tries to skip through every C3PO based uh, Clone Wars episode. Yeah. Cause he's Why, like, man? you really he's don't like, like C3PO? Jin Jar Jar is what he is. Yeah. He, he's, he's the original trilogy Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love C3PO. And then check out these, man. These are awesome too. Just some awesome covers. Ooh. And then we got one, two more books after this one. Masters of the Universe and right. Justice. So that, oh. that, that was pretty cool. Now I got two more over here. Um, I just now did this was, Cats too, Masters of the Universe. That is wrong. Someone this was uh, one of the books I specifically picked out. It's Riri Williams, Iron Heart number one, the one in 25 uh, Jamal Campbell variant. Mm -hmm. So that is. Just, I mean, that thing is clean. And I got a whole bunch, bunch of Star Wars coming from Little Beans. Uh, I don't know if they've jumped on yet, but Little Beans. And then so, you know, last Star Wars that I'm fixing to put on a, an auction somewhere at some point. Um, but um, so, you know, last week I spoke with Josh and or Josh was like, hey, you never bring anything to trade for me with me. Because you <laughs> so, don't. Because you don't. Well, because normally, I mean, let's be realistic. A lot of the stuff I had, he probably already has in back bins or whatever. And um, so, you know, I'm just saying honestly, you don't have any good books. Like, like you suck. I, collector. No, I had some books I was going to get. But let me tell the story. All right. So I took two two short boxes in, a slab, and all of my Batman damned in. And I said, hey, Josh, you know, if these are anything you want to look at for a trade value or whatever, you know, great. If not, completely understand. I just wanted to bring it in and let you know. And so he he flipped through and we kept talking, man, and it was good to get to catch up with him. Uh, really, only one customer came in because I came in so late tonight. So it was good to sit down and just chat and kind of talk a little bit. But uh, as I was leaving, I was checking out or whatever. And he goes, all right, well, I'm going to take all these books. I'm like, OK, cool. <laughs> you know, and he goes, I'm going to give you this one. And I was like, oh, no. And I told him, I said, I can't do that. He said, no, you're going to. He said, these are mine now, and this one's going to be yours. And this is a book, man, that I've wanted. What are you going to do, fight, fight him? <laughs> I know. He's like nine foot tall. But so he hooked me up. Oh, right yeah. on. Reverse flash, right? First professor. Sorry, did, I, did I ruin that for you? I'm so sorry. It means to No, me. no, it's good, man. But I was just so – so, Josh, thank you so much for this, man. And I told him, I said – I told, I said, man, there's nothing in there that, you know, but he's like, no, 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 I absolutely want to do it. And it's hard for me to accept things because it's difficult for me to do. Um, but I mean, I couldn't be more excited about that. I mean, it's yeah. flash 139, the first professor zoom. So, I mean, uh, it, it doesn't look like it's a nine two, but hey, it doesn't still matter. Cool. Man. Still I love cool. that color. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Um, so super excited to have that. Things you're crazy. Trade that for Star Wars books, man. Get out of here. Oh no, man, this is, here. this is a Can't book. Trade real that... comics for Star Wars books. <laughs> this is a book that will forever be with me. Um, 
I mean, I love this. Is that what you're like? JB says top top ten going in the casket with you. <laughs> for sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. And that's kind of where I'm getting down to, man. Is like what books are really worth keeping. And then I got um, one more thing I'm going to show off, but I want. I'm moving. Uh, in I got to back up for a second. Myself. All right. Yeah, I, I'm moving in that direction myself. Uh, and, and I want to go back and hit the chat real quick, real quick. Uh, up, 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 here we go. Skydived into the building, got past security and the barking dogs and electrical fences. And Big Nosh is in the house. What is up, brother? Good to see you. Love the intros. Love the intros. Big Nosh's intros are better than, than ours when we start. And everybody knows we don't really get started till Nosh is here. So Nosh package is coming out to you this weekend, man. And I uh, hope you enjoy that. Matt Trussell, what is going on? Let's see. Professor Nick, I see you doing your thing. Dustin looking buff and tough. I try. Uh, that is, that's not completely accurate, but I do try. So I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, King Bean, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Jeff Schultz, we see you. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody else? Oh, B. Ramey popped in. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, Josh says, no worries, Nick. Uh, I, I'm going to give Dustin something even better. So uh, huh. oh, he huh. already did. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so just wanted to catch up in the chat real quick while Nick was gone. And Nick has something really cool to show. Really cool. Yep. To show. So I don't think I, he's here. I don't think he's showing up yet, but I don't see him uh, here. Oh, Burke, sorry. You my bad. Missed, hold on real quick. So Burke, man, you just missed the awesome flash 110. I just picked up. You did. And uh, Deep Dive, what's going on? Thanks for hanging out. And uh, Bert, what is going on, man? What do you All mean right. this is why I pick on you? Oh, this is why Dustin and I pick on you. Got you. I thought you were saying yeah. you pick on me. I was like, we're boys. But I will see you on Tuesday, uh, Greg. Just make sure Rod sends me the dang link. <laughs> All right, deep dive. What's going on, man? I don't know. I believe Dustin said, "Hey." All right, so Austin right, so LeMay. This is really cool, guys. Uh, Austin LeMay's not here, but he. he <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I just so wanted Dustin, to you. So, so Austin sent me this package. He's like, just sent me a tracking number, and he's like, "Hey, here you go, Nick." And I was like, "All right, what what is that?" And it showed up like this, and I was like, "What the heck?" So I opened it up, and the video will come out next week sometime. It's been recorded for like six days, and we have a backlog of video, guys. Um, yeah. It's nuts. We actually may be at 2,500 by the end of the night. Uh, so we'll do the giveaway next week. All that to say, look at well, this, guys. There went the announcement for tonight, but all right. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, my God. I'm telling you. So there are a few things that I have. When I say very few things, I mean, we're talking that Flash comic, My Forever People, um, the Marvel Comics 1000, some of those books, right? Like that are, you know, back here, like my footprint book and some things that like no way I would ever get rid of. And this is one of those things that, man, it just means so much to me. And it looks uh, way better, guys, when oh. the video's not grainy. Like it looks really good. Is it grainy? Am I grainy? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Am I? 100% courtesy of Jeff. No way. No, dude, it looks good. It may be grainy on your end, but the stream itself looks fine. I don't know. So, Justin, am I grainy on you? Yes. Mm. Well, then why am I still full screen? Anyway, <laughs> that is that is absolutely a fantastic piece. I saw Austin show it off uh, about a week before he sent it to you. I yeah, see everybody saying it looks clear. Now it is, yeah. Yeah, when you were holding that up, it looked good, but like, like you yourself look really grainy. Oh, well, that's probably because the focus was. But uh, but yeah, Austin Austin showed that off on a stream like a week before he sent it to you, I guess. And I didn't have any idea he was sending that to you, but I was like, man, that is freaking awesome. I was like, that is super cool. So that's that's really cool that uh, yeah, that he sent that to you right on. Yep. So I gotta I gotta find a way. I got one. I got another thing I need to keep hung up there, but. I'm telling you guys, I mean, that at first I was like, oh my God, is that like, I mean, cause that looks like real deal original art from Drew almost. I mean, it's that good. So, yeah. Um, 
CJ, CJ is, is, is loving that, man. He's another big Canto fan. Uh, okay. Well, he's gone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> CJ now has the infamous Meltdown Mayhem video Canto 9.0. So he, he has a piece of Two Brothers Comics history in his collection now. <laughs> I had to go put it back up. It's hanging, man. Uh, I had to go put it up. What's up, Skiff? What's going on, brother? In the building, sporting a new shirt, man. Check me out, bro. Check me out. What do you think, Skiff? You know what I'm saying? I told him I'm going to have to upgrade this shirt, though, after we talked last night. I told him that. We, we're going to have to upgrade the shirt after the conversation we had last night. Me and Skiff did another video together last night, guys. That's going to be recorded and dropped next week. Uh, you guys will make sure you're going to check that one out. Skiff. Skiff did us the honor of coming in and, and dropping that Skeff knowledge uh, for, for a good video last night. So I'm excited to get that dropped. Oh, one thirty nine. Oh, he got a one thirty nine. Show him Nick. Show him, show him the other. I one. know. I told him one ten though. I was literally messaging him like, Hey, it's actually a one thirty nine. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. I got the one thirty nine. <laughs> oh, Hey, show him that one. That 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 is uh, what Wally West looks like after Barry Allen runs past him. Hold up, we got we got it coming, man. We got it coming. <laughs> that's that's what Wally West looks like when Barry runs past him. <laughs> Just road runners him. <laughs> oh, oh man, man. Well, that was a good pickup. That was a big call this week, man. For all everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, like I said, man, I picked up I picked up some I knocked off three books off my 2021 hunt list, but I'm not showing those off until next week after I take down Biggie Shack. And he's been dropping promos on me all week. I'm fixing to drop one on him, but uh not not tonight, not tonight. All I'm gonna say is <clears throat> Don't sing it, dude. You better bring it because I'm about to. I'm about to. Austin LeMay, you just missed it, dude. You just literally missed it. I Nick had it pulled off. off. You it off. It down, showed off your, your fantastic artwork, bro. It was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys make sure you're following Austin LeMay on Instagram. He also has been jumping on uh, live streams lately, but, I mean, the dude put some awesome stuff up on his, uh, his Instagram for oh, sure. Yeah. And then one more thing before we move on to our review and top picks and all that stuff. So check this out. Ruben Guzman taking Two Brothers Comics up to the mountains. Check that out. <laughs> Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> That's awesome, man. So shout out to Ruben for sending that over to us. Hashtag you, have to love Ruben. <laughs> you have to love Ruben. I mean that's that awesome. Sticker dude. Has been, that sticker has been on like we I've, I've, people have been using that sticker for all kinds of stuff. Josh has them plastered, literally wallpapering the shop almost with those long collect your way stickers on everything. Lee at Wack Comics has a big Jar Jar bust with collect your way across it. You know, he's got to sport the number one ranked Star Wars character with our sticker. Ruben's throwing it up on the top of Mount everything up there like tallest mountain on the planet skydiving down hitting the snow on the board with our logo on it i mean it's so cool man to see that kind of stuff love it so josh i do have those two here but i didn't want to show them off in case dustin decides to use them for the hunt so the uh the the two kind of funny books i, I got you dustin oh yeah yeah those are definitely going to be uh hunt cover category yep. books so you got two. I thought you only. I only told you to pick up one. I thought I, I bought the uh, Bob Hope one for you. Oh, okay. With the uh, do, 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 yeah. do. oh, that that I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. It was the monster one. Oh, okay, okay. Because I know you've been into monsters. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, all this talk of Jar Jar makes my hair go up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look at this madman! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is too awesome. Too awesome. So, Austin, that's how I want his picture to look. 
Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I've got to shave my head. I've been trying to grow it out and I can't do it. It, it bothers me so bad. It makes my head itch when I have a hat on now. I'm meant to be bald. Whatever. Whatever. Dustin, what was your pick of the week? Your read of the week and cover of the week? Actually, I personally believe I did. Thank you. <laughs> I did pick up an awesome X-Men book this week. Justin was proud of that one. Oh, remember, I don't even remember what it remember was. Remember I sent you the picture of the X-Men book I picked up for Come like on. 40 bucks on eBay? Hold on. I got to go back and look. Yeah. yeah I'll be showing it off next week, guys, after the hunt. But yeah, I did pick up an awesome X-Men book that I've been after for a minute. So, oh, all right. yeah. That is a good looking book. That is a good book. Really nice grade for 40 bucks, too. Your mom's a good book. Oh, here we go. All right. So, Nick, top pick of the week, read and cover. Easily, King and Black, number three. That ending was hmm. cover of the week. <clears throat> well, Eddie Brock's dead now, so. Cover of the week, that one, although I believe it came out last week. So, I will say this is probably the best cover um, from this week. Yep. So, ah, Justin, you got your book, and you. I can't. Did. I can't name that book now. I can't pick that book as cover of the week, can I? I mean, you no. technically could. You just don't have it. That's true. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh man, I really am. My hair is doing a very Wolverine looking thing right now. Or, or we we were also uh, saw somebody say Marv from Home Alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I guess that was when I but, saw Mar from Home Alone. I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> oh my god, it's uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't steer you guys wrong. I would never, ever, ever steer you wrong or let you down. All I'm saying is T is the best, and that's Ted Lasso. Hey, barbecue sauce. <laughs> You're a right floppy. I can't <laughs> say it. It's, it's yeah. All right, Dustin, what was your tops? Uh, the only book I read this week, which was at like 2.30 last night when me and Skeff got done, was Skeff Avengers 41. And uh, there was some cool stuff that happened. There was some funny stuff that happened. There was some stuff that I was like, so can't wait to get to that one. Cover of the week, because there wasn't a lot to really choose from, but uh, I'm going to go with this one. I normally hate negative space variants or covers, but for some reason, and it, it's not because it's turtles. I just, I think it works here. Mm -hmm. It just works here on these covers. So yeah. that's the one I go, I, I, I'm going to go with for cover of the week. Hey, Kenneth, thanks so much, man. We definitely appreciate you. We've been seeing all your comments on all the videos. We yeah. uh, truly appreciate that, man. Uh, don't You never miss a video, and and you know, and that's for everybody. But yeah, we, Kenneth, we, we have we, definitely we, noticed, and we appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, got a, we've got a lot of people lately that is just like, man, like, like we have people that like literally see the video almost before we do sometimes, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Mars Comics, what's going on? True that, Beans. See, King Beans knows where it's at. <laughs> All right, Justin, what about you? Top read of the week and cover of the week. All right, so uh, read of the week, uh, Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number one. I really like this book, and I hope that we can talk about it a little bit later. Didn't have yep, enough martial sure. arts. Didn't have enough for martial sure. arts. Oh, and you uh, know what else we're going to talk about? Invincible. Oh, we can do that, too. Uh, my cover of the week, uh, just because I can't, it's not physically in my possession right now, uh, it, it would be that Iron Fist variant, right? Uh, but I don't have it. It's it's currently in Alabama as we speak. So uh, I'm going to take the cheap route and plug Hollywood Trash number four. Hey. <laughs> right on. Hey, Matt. Welcome, man. Everybody will definitely probably drop a welcome to you in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, if you enjoy it and uh, – have a good time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, man. And uh, make sure you enter for the giveaway because we're going to make an announcement about that later. 
Uh, so I, yeah, we can we can talk about that later. I, I guess I was a little sure. shocked to find out that it no one liked it. Yep. I have one minor gripe with it, but again, we'll get into it later. No one well, likes what? Iron Fist. Oh. Well, let's do it later, B. Ramey. Hey, hey B. Ramey, bro. take it easy. Take it easy. Oof. All right, ready? Let's do it right now. All right, so what do we? Let's talk about Iron Fist since it's kind of fresh on the mind. Uh, and we'll, we'll bring this comment back up. So, bearded comic bro, thank you, Tosh and Josh. See, Josh liked it. Um, so I was watching Hero and the Kids channel. Greg was on there. They had this guy named Jason on there. I, it might be the first time I've seen him, and of course, Will and Bullseye Bob. Um, but I was listening to Jason talk about the Iron Fist. Um, and he was like, you know, we're, we want these, the fight scenes and the action. And he's like, I want stuff like Dragon Balls, you know, like like real martial arts. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and he was like speaking to my heart, man. That would not be dude. Dragon Ball then. just And Dragon Ball is definitely martial arts. But it's not real. More like Cobra Kai. Okay, well, neither is Iron Fist. But you want to get mean, into it? He, he literally punched his fist into a dragon's heart. <laughs> That sounds like real martial arts to me. But. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I were they, I guess, I'm just confused by the comment. Were they expecting you to open it up and immediately on page one be fighting all the way to the end of page 20? Mm. Is there, there are plenty of good Iron Fist books out there, including like the whole Brewbreaker Fraction Run where... There's issues where there's not much fighting. So I guess I'm just a little I'm a little confused by the by that yeah, comment, man. but I, overall I I really dug the art style. I really dug the way the story that you're trying to tell, which is basically that someone is going around and killing all of the dragons of the seven heavenly cities. Uh so it's it's up to Iron Fist and of course where Iron Fist goes, Luke Cage is there too to to try and um uh stop this from happening and yeah. uh there are fight scenes in there i'd say half the book is fight scenes my only minor gripe with it is it seems like every time iron fist gets in a fight in this issue he loses so i'm a little i'm a little uh we i feel a little weird about that um it seems like they're trying to bring iron fist down hopefully to you know make his rise uh be that much better Make but yeah, overall, I thought it was a great book. I'm a big Iron Fist fan, and this this worked for me. Okay, so what? It, go over the premise again a little bit for maybe anybody who hasn't picked it up or even heard about it. Uh, so the premise is that of the seven heavenly cities, each one has their own dragon, and someone is going around and killing the dragons of each of the heavenly cities and stealing the heart. So uh, Iron Fist actually has the uh, dragon from, uh, I always mispronounce this, Kunlun, Kun Lao. Someone help me out here. Kulun right, Kun Lao. Thank you. Kulun Thank you. Is that sure. who it is? Wait, who? What? I'm thinking Kulun Goth, the guy that they were fighting in Savage Avengers. No, right. no, no. The, the name of the city that they, the, it's, it's, the, oh, my uh, bad. Iron Fist trained. My bad. Yeah, my bad. So he Iron Fist is actually in possession of that dragon. Uh, so they scoop everybody up. You know, Iron Fist, uh, Fu, uh, uh, Luke Cage, and they're they're going to go out and protect the rest of the dragons. Okay. So yeah, uh, I dig it. Like there, there's some there's some good humor in there. Um, like I said, I was a really big fan of the art style. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm digging it. Well, and they definitely did some thing, things that kind of seem to make Luke Cage a little more relatable as like, a uh, as a person and, um, definitely don't want to spoil it, I guess. But, um, yeah, it, it's, I, I'm really enjoying that aspect of comic books. You know what I mean? When, when you can, for example, invincible, like it's so hard not to find a relation to, the main characters and in, in, in any aspect, right? Um, and I think that's what has made that book. So is that why I'll you don't like Captain America? So damn good. Invincible is amazing. Um, 
Well, Captain America, you know, can't relate to being such a such a badass dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, so anybody interested in Iron Fist? It sounds like. Uh, um, hey, Ruben, no worries, man. We showed off your your pictures, man. We thought Someone that was all. Awesome. Iron Fist. Iron Fist is one of my favorite comics because it is responsible for the first appearance and second appearance of. Well, not the second appearance, excuse me, but the first appearance of the greatest comic book ever. Greatest yeah. comic book character ever printed. It's, well, it's, villain. Cat was the greatest character ever invented. Greatest villain. Had to. These second appearance is a Power Man and Iron Fist issue. Yeah, it is. Cameo in uh, Iron Fist 13. Cameo. Now, that one I call a cameo because it's basically just a silhouette. Of him just standing there like, oh, somebody's about to die. <laughs> yeah. Did Hashtag anyone die? Previews don't count. Did, did anyone die? Every uh, tons, Millions of people have died since Iron Fist 14. No, no, no. That's not what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> not what I was asking. All um, right. So, Nick, what are you wanting to talk about? <laughs> so, King and Black 3. Did, I'm assuming I'm the only person that read it. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, man, this issue, look, for what it's worth, Donnie Cates can write a damn event. Um, and now I got a quick cuss my bad. I just am excited tonight with this stuff. It, it is 1030, sir. I know. First watch off, your, watch your mouth. Splash pages in this book are phenomenal. Okay. Um, freaking Tony Stark shows up with new armor that you'll, you know, you kind of see. Thanks for Is he uh, leaving because he doesn't want spoilers. I mean, I guess I'm I was thinking the same thing. My bad. You get uh, on to me my... for, for mentioning anything close to a right. spoiler. Okay. Well, I'm assuming most people that read this. I mean, okay. Spoiler. Uh, Dewey Day Trader. I think it's like a like a brownish. We'll talk gold. about it. I think it's like a brownish gold, right? The background on the cover. I think he's talking about background like Jeez, I, I hate you. Can you just I hate you. All right, so anyways, King in Black is it, just like Legion said, it's fun. Um, and it's given tons of fan service. Absolutely. You kind of know what you're gonna get, but you know, Dustin, he said Thor wasn't gonna be a big deal. Well, spoiler alert, he did show up. Uh clearly Donnie's Twitter is nothing to go off of it. Um, no, 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 no. I did not what? say Thor's not going to be a big deal. I said the two series are not going to tie in together. I did not uh, say okay. Thor wasn't going to okay. show up. Okay. Corrected. Corrected. I got it. Cool. Although I will say that the end ending on this makes me so excited. And I have a book that is per pertinent to the last page. I had the entire series up for sale on our Instagram. And that's going to come down because I think it's going to go up in value now. <laughs> Mark. Hey, I don't care. I, I love the, the Thor series going on right now. Um, so that was awesome. And then did you read Walking Dead? I didn't, dude. I, all I got to read was Avengers. Okay. So, so Avengers. Avengers. 41, guys. I'm not going to keep telling you guys you need to read Avengers. I'm just going to tell you guys you need to read Avengers. <laughs> I mean, you collect your way, but you read what I tell you to read because I'm not going to steal you wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kidding. Read Avengers. This has been awesome, man. We jumped on to issue 33. We've been through like this is like the uh like 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 we've been like two and a half story arcs because we had a couple of one shots in there that were really, really good. Uh this is the second story arc, and and we talked about it a little bit last issue, but you have the power of the Phoenix up for grabs in basically mortal freaking combat going on, but it's like immortal combat. The Phoenix has grabbed different characters from Marvel, like like spanned and dug way deep everybody and anybody like 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 there's characters i don't even know who they are there's characters that ain't got no business being here bro and, and they made a man thing that are like then there's characters were like all right he's about to win like i got there's three characters that i think could win one of them i know probably won't win um but uh basically i think we know who's gonna get it yeah the phoenix basically has entrapped all these characters inside of the phoenix and it's almost like a a purgatory and two at a time the phoenix pulls two characters out they get the power of the phoenix and they do battle pretty much to the death the winner goes back to purgatory and awaits their next competitor in the next round uh and and it's crazy man it's it's such an awesome uh uh 
story to come up with. Like, a, like the concept of it is so cool. I mean, especially being as big a fan of Mortal Kombat as I am, that was my first thought. It's just, this is Marvel Mortal Kombat. You know, in the last issue, we saw Doctor Doom beat the piss out of Captain America for a minute. And then Captain America just, I mean, rug stomped him. And, uh, you know, did what Cap does and walked out of there on top, you know, like he does all day. And, uh, you know, 9-2 all day. Cap all day, is, is he ain't going to lose. So, I, I, I don't think he's going to get it. Like, as much as I would like to think he is, I don't no. think he'll be the one to get it. Um, but nope. there are two characters here that are definitely the, an the main antagonist and protagonist. And it's going to be between the two of them. I haven't decided which one I think is going to get it yet. But it's a really, really cool concept. Um, the leader of the Avengers is not Cap in this series. It's um, uh, now, Black Panther, right? It is Black Panther. T'Challa is the leader. So in this issue, I just want to tell you guys about a couple of the, the rounds that we saw. Uh, we saw Black Panther with the power of the Phoenix fight Man-Thing with the power of the Phoenix. Okay. And what's awesome about that is they made a Man-Thing joke. He goes, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm again. not saying that. Yeah. Luke Cage is <laughs> like, so you beat, well, I, I'm not saying that. You beat him, right? <laughs> I mean, it's cool. We, we've got characters in here. Like we've got Wolverine. Uh, we have got, uh, we've got uh, Jane, Jane Foster as the Valkyrie. We've got Submariner is in here. Black Panther T'Challa is in here. We've got Luke Cage in here. Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl is in here. Uh, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. I was going to get to Howard the Duck. Uh, She-Hulk is here. We have, let's see, who else? Shang-Chi is in here. Black Knight. Um, they've got Black Knight. Uh, who, who is this? Namor. Uh, um, uh, what, what's the guy, the, the leader of the Squadron Supreme? Um, 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 I can't remember his name. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, we've just got so many Hyperion. different people in here. Who? Hyperion. Yes, yes, he, he is in here also. as well. Dick. Cheers. Cheers, my 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 tea drinking friend. So, um, Red Did Widow. Did you put milk in it? Okay. What's that? Did you put milk in it? No, just just sugar. <laughs> See, I All right, guys. Milk. So, so tiny minuscule spoiler alert. Okay, I'm giving you guys a spoiler alert. The best part of this book was Red Widow versus Howard the Duck. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Howard the Duck. Look, okay, here we go. A little shot. There's Howard the Duck with the Phoenix powers, okay? Fighting Red Widow. Yeah. Can I just tell you, she... <laughs> well, that's what I was about to say. So, Matt oh says, who is gosh. Howard the Duck fighting? Uh, Not really anybody. It didn't. Uh, like... No. Um, basically... Nice to see you went, Randy. Nice to see you, my friend. Howard the Duck gets three panels, four panels here, okay? Or three panels. Yeah. He has the power. And they battle in one, and then you just see the results in the other one, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, and, and specifically panels, not pages. I mean, it's right, panels on one page, three panels with Howard the Duck. And it was absolutely the most amusing thing I've ever seen. Um, now it's it's crazy because uh, we we have all these characters. We we do see, um, you know, Black Panther. I said fighting already in the very beginning. We do see. Black Panther actually communicating with the Phoenix and basically saying like, look, I know what you want us to do. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to take you out. And, you know, T'Challa is basically having an internal struggle and argument with the Phoenix uh, throughout the issue. And uh, I mean, it, it's crazy. We have the orb is here and I think the orb fights Jane Foster. And that yeah. was pretty cool. Um, Shayna, the she devil, uh, queen of the savage land. She actually fights. Um, Lunella's devil dinosaur, and 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 even the, the the other characters made a point of saying like, we're not gonna fight Lunella. Like she's like she's like a first grader. I mean, come on, what is she doing here? Wolverine they, like, they up on the devil dinosaur, right? But Wolverine's like, huh? The hell with that. I will stab all of you. I just need to know who I'm starting with, and that includes you. You were getting it too, first grade girl. You're here. You're gonna get these cans, man. And he just pops out three twisted T's on each hand. Snicked. So Wolverine has not fought yet, but but we all know it's coming. Um, but Black Panther is the only one we've seen fight twice because he fought in the beginning of the book, and then at the end of the book, he comes in and he fights again against Nighthawk. And uh, I mean, 
to, to see the scene where he fights Man Thing and what he does to Man Thing was super cool, man. It was super yeah. cool. And Man Thing with the Phoenix powers, that design looked awesome, man. And and the way that they brought Man Thing in was really really cool. I loved that. But yeah, for for Nighthawk. To really think he's about to get over on T'Challa, like, come on, dude, you're not. I thought that was so stupid, to be honest with you. You're not hot, bro. Your book's hot. Your book's hot right now, but but we was picking it out of dollar bins a week ago. Don't don't come in here thinking you're about to take off and and, and put some hands on the king. All right, but the very last page, man, we've been waiting for this because he has been the the antagonist that has been really from from the first uh well. Uh, 40 was the first part of the story arc. So last issue, he let it be known right off the bat. Like I'm, I'm doing whatever it takes to whoever I need to look at that man thing, dude, that is awesome. And, and at the last panel, somebody in the next issue is about to fight a very, very angry Namor who is willing to do anything he has to, to obtain the powers of the Phoenix. Uh, I'm telling you guys, if you're not reading this, you are so missing out, so missing out, man. It is so good. Didn't, and I can't uh, wait to see Namor versus T'Challa. It has to happen. Has to happen. Uh someone someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh and I'm looking at the chat. Um, didn't wasn't Namor one of the Phoenix Five in the Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, or am I remembering that incorrectly? I have never read that. I so I have no idea, man. When did that come out? Uh like 2000 i don't know was it was it has it been more than three years ago yes then i have not read it <laughs> but maybe maybe josh knows um so matt the first part of this this story arc is issue 40 uh so you can go pick up issue 40 i i i don't think it's hard to find uh, I'm pretty sure my shop still has some copies, so make sure you check and see if you can find issue 40 and pick up 41. It just came out, um, but I'm telling you guys, man, this this has been great since number since issue 33 when we started. It may have been great since before then, but Jason Aaron, Jason Aaron, it, it, how often does he let us down? You know, yep. just for him. And just for, so you guys oh, know, man. tonight. We are going to be doing the, the hot topic argument debate style conversation. And it is going to be if you are going to start your own comic book company, who would you choose to be the foundation? Donnie or JT4? That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And y'all know that's going to get heated. And, and I mean, everybody's always pitting those two against each other. So we thought it'd be a great hot topic discussion. So uh, make sure you guys stick around for that. All right. But guys, thanks for listening. That was our reviews portion of the show. No, no, no. Uh, uh, real quick, uh, Glowbug, I believe the other two were Colossus and Magic. And we were going to talk sub uh, uh, Invincible, too. Ooh. It is an easy answer if, if, you're, if you choose the right one. You buy both of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, so Invincible, Justin, we got a first look, and I have never been more happy to see something in my life. You know yeah. what I mean? It it was um, I, like I, this is gonna sound really weird, and if, if you guys want to bash me for saying it, it's fine. I get it. I was getting some Batman the animated animated series vibes from it, just from the animation style, right? Yeah, it did seem uh, a little on the simpler side like back then. Yeah. But this thing is going to be brutal. It it's uh I'm really looking forward to it. Uh I enjoyed the little clip the the 2 3 minute clip that we got. Yep, this um, right here. No, I did not see that one. That I did not see that clip. I saw the one where they were uh baseball. Yeah, it's about to come up. Yeah, it was that one that was like two or three minutes long. Yep. And I don't want to get copyrighted, but we'll, we'll yeah. show up. Like, like our, our most watched video on the planet <laughs> that we've ever produced. So, 
If you don't know what Invincible is, it's a Robert nice. Kirkman comic that went off for 150 plus issues, 151, something like that, 155. Uh, there are three compendiums out, and it started back early 2000s, and easily, bar none, uh, one of the best indie comics, one of the best superhero comic book stories that I've read, um, and I think most people would agree. Right now, I'm almost through the second compendium, and my plan is to be done with the third by the end of this month so I can start fables next month. My, my plan is to read like mass amounts. Uh, but Justin, what issue are you on right now? Uh, I'm about to start the sixth trade. So I think that's about issue 25. Okay. So, so what was the last thing that happened? Um, the last thing that happened was it looks like we're getting Invincible's arch enemy. Who uh, who would it be? Uh, I just want to make sure I don't I don't want to spoil anything because I've read like I don't remember what issue is which. Uh, I don't uh, I don't want to spoil anything either. Okay. Um, let's just say it's a guy who looks kind of brainy. Oh yes, so good. So, so that good. that just happened. That 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 uh, origin story or creation would just happen. So yes, I'm so dude. You're getting in it. It's about to get so good. Have you seen Alan um, the first time or the second time? Uh, I've seen him for the the third time where he like uh, makes it back home and he tells everybody there what's going on and he's out on a date with his girlfriend and something happens. Oh, ho, 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 ho. did that not hurt your feelings? <laughs> um. I, I the whole the whole interaction between him and her uh, was hilarious. Yeah, I'm so excited to see what what voice Mark Hamill does for that. Oh, I cannot be more excited. So excited! So uh, it comes out in March, right? I think so. And I, I, what is it? Three episodes at first, like right away. Yeah. So the release is like three episodes at first, and then an episode a piece. Yeah. Well, once All a right, week. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So I'm excited about it. I is your plan to be done reading it by the time it airs? Uh, probably not. I, what is that? Like a month and a half away? I mean, come on, let's be honest. Let's we're all shocked that I made it through 24 issues. No, dude, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Waterboy style. Um, what do you think else to add about invincible? I, I no, I don't want to be sad about it. Don't don't say anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying anything else you want to add. Oh, oh, add. I, th I yeah. thought you said, do you want to be sad about it? And I thought you were going to tell me something bad about it. Mm -mm. No, uh, nothing else I want to add. I'm really looking, I'm really enjoying reading it. Looking forward to seeing the show when it hits. Yep, for sure. Um, no, what about WandaVision? Did you want to talk about WandaVision real quick in the review section? Oh, uh, yeah, we can. Uh, did either one of you see it? I did. One? Okay. Um, Thoughts? I because I, there's only one question, one big question I had uh, regarding the whole episode, uh, and I'll get to that after hearing your opinion. So I, I talked about it with Josh tonight, and to me, um, it's not it's not roped me in like it's the greatest series. Now Josh, on the other hand, was like, "Man, this has been amazing," but all of the little the little drops of information I think is what's really keeping people hooked. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm like. I understand why they're doing what they're doing, but it's just a little harder for me to want to pay attention. I mm -hmm. think this is something that would be better for me personally to watch one sitting all the way through. Mm -hmm. But I think next episode is going to be off the rails. I, I, I get that. So and I, I agree. Like last week, I think I said that I think this is the type of show that's going to be, better for new watchers if it's uh binge watched i, mm -hmm. I think uh it would make a lot more sense instead of going from week to week to week yep so so what was your big question but, so my big question is uh at the end and obviously we're doing we're spoilers here so if you haven't seen it or you don't want to know what happens just five turn, seconds and come don't, back. don't leave just turn the mute off i'll give you a thumbs up when it's safe to come back how's that does that work <laughs> for everybody that's good. So uh, three, two, two, one, spoiler room brawl. Here we go. Uh, the end of the episode uh, when uh, Geraldine, and we know who Geraldine really is because mm. Disney has released that information. Yep. Uh, when Geraldine is thrown out, 
and all of those people run to her after we see the large uh, military esque yep. uh, encampment around her. Yeah. My question is those people that are running towards her, are they sword or are they the uh, aim? Uh, or, or are they aim? Like, is she there against aim's wishes? And they're running to capture her yep. because she's not supposed to be there. And I, that's what I was just trying to figure out there. That's a good point. And I guess my question is, is this Wanda that's done all of this? Or is this some weird reality that they put her in to try to keep her tame? Because it seems like it's her doing this because she's been able to make several changes. Like, I won't lie, that glitch scene totally threw me off. Yeah, I... I I definitely looked at my wife and, and was, I didn't say it out loud. Uh, I wanted to say, did that just happen or did yeah. I have a stroke? <laughs> oh man. So yeah, it was, it's very interesting. I'm still going to continue it. Um, but it's definitely slow for me. So yeah. Um, there, I, there was another question I had, uh, that, that was brought up from the beginning of the episode, but I don't remember what it was now off the top of my head. Um, yeah, so that's my bad. <laughs> no worries. Well, <laughs> anything else you want to add? No, uh, that's it. I'm looking forward to next week's episode and seeing more of, of how this develops. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. Well, let's move on. Dustin, are you going to make it up there? No. What's wrong with you? I'm pissed. Why? I turned my phone on silent so that the vibration from notifications doesn't pick up on the microphone. I missed the notification for a eBay book that it was ending. And I just missed out on like a super high grade copy of that King Size Hulk Steranko cover. You know what I'm talking about? Where he's holding the Hulk sign up for like 60 bucks. I mean, stupid high grade. Mm. And it, uh, it, 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 I, I am absolutely beside myself right now about that. Uh, uh, thank you, Josh. That was the other thing that I, that I noticed. Um, uh, at the beginning of the episode, when they're doing like the intro and the credits, there are a lot of hexagonal shaped images. Yeah. Uh, in there and i to me that just i i feel like it's aim that's behind this all right oh, so, sorry i was coughing okay. dustin's all mad so what you got for the toy box am i the only one am i the only one that got toys i don't have anything i, I retired from toys all right i had to man so, uh, show these off first Went ahead and uh, picked up some more uh, Super 7 reaction figures. We've got Splinter. I'm sorry, Splinter. And Baxter Stockman. I've been digging these. Uh, they look good on a shelf. Uh, you know, truth be told, I'm all in on anything Super 7 does turtle related. <laughs> uh, um, I also, uh, I found these. And I'm really excited. I found them. I didn't think I would. I found them on the shelf at Walmart. It is the uh, Ghostbusters retro uh, figures. Uh, Slimer and Stay Puft were the last two that I needed, so I now have everything from that line. You gonna pop them open? I will. Yeah, they they will open. I just don't have a spot for them yet. And then, um, I mean, let's just I should I'll just show them. I got two new Hot Toys in this week, and um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. It, it, it was a little awkward too because I. I believe that there were two hot toys that uh, my wife did not know were were on the list or were coming in. And um, <laughs> she was home this week, and UPS showed up with two hot toys-shaped boxes. And suddenly I went, I don't normally have to try and explain this to you because you're usually working in the office. Anyways, uh, <laughs> first up. First Dude, up, that is so funny. <laughs> On, uh, so first up, from the Mandalorian, we've got the Incinerator Trooper. Nice. 
looking all shiny. And second, is that like a scar trooper? What is that like a scar trooper? No, he's an incinerator trooper. Uh, he, I got a, I found a book this week that's the first parents of the scar troopers, and they kind of look like that guy. I just, I wasn't sure. Uh, and and second, also from the Mandalorian, probably cooler than the incinerator trooper. We've got the death trooper. Nice. Bum 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 ba da bum ba ba da bum. <laughs> I got, I got, uh, I got one one more thing in, and um, <laughs> so <laughs> UPS, I understand, is having issues, <laughs> but don't. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you that's all you can say but damn <laughs> this, this this is how i got it it came in this sorry we care bag and <laughs> i was told by my uh mail carrier that she is the one who put this in the bag like it was opened like it looks like someone set it on fire <laughs> like how oh, that's the real hot toy <laughs> They for real. Like, I've never, I've never had this happen before. I mean, luckily the old, it was just like a Ninja Turtle accessory. But like, look at that. I was just kind of like blown away by that. Like, I, I, it's kind of funny if you think about it. Like, if this had been like a, a high end item, I'd be really upset. But like, this was like four dollars, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, I just got that and was like, someone set that on fire. So what What was it like? What did the We Care bags? I mean, was it like, hey, we'll replace it if we messed it up? As it was oh, that's good. I didn't even read it. Um, we sincerely regret the damage to your mail during here. Let me show this. What was in it? Uh, what was in it was just a, uh, Ninja Turtles accessory. Um, it, it itself looks like it's uh, slightly uh, been charred. <laughs> um, I, I, it's, it's nothing a little little soap and water won't clean. Um, the note on the front just basically says like, hey man, stuff happens. Sorry about it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, like I... I I got that, and like I could just tell that my my uh, mail lady was just like, "I'm so sorry. Please don't take it out on me." And I and I was just like, "Not your fault. It's cool. Like I totally get things happen. Um, mm -hmm. Things like someone not wanting me to receive a uh, Ninja Turtle accessory and deciding to set the thing on fire." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just really glad that it was only like a four dollar thing. Like if that had been like. A hot toy or uh, a, a or a nine two. What's that? Or a nine two? Or a nine two or an X Men book that I needed in a nine two? I'd probably be a little bit more upset. Yeah, dude, it wasn't even bots, man. I just missed missed the notification. And the worst part about it is, even at the low low price it was, it was going to be free. It was going to be free because I was just going to use eBay gift cards I've won from doing the hunt on it. Like like. That's what sucks even worse, man. It was going to be a free book. I wasn't even coming. I wasn't. I wasn't even coming out of pocket for it. Which I haven't been having to do lately at all. I've been like trading stuff and and stuff like that. So it's been like super cool. I've I've <laughs> traded for some like some nasty stuff lately. So, but that was going to be super cool to have that Starenko cover and like not a dollar out of the pocket, and I got it. But hey, it's all good. I know. I let Skeff in on what I'm what I'm saving up these hunt eBay cards for, which I think I told you what it was, Justin. There's that certain signature series book that I, I was looking at. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't tell you. I'll tell you later. You'll definitely appreciate it because I know you're a fan of the guy. It, it, it's 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 signed by someone you are literally probably never ever ever going to be able to get to sign a book and have CGC there again. Like, like the chances of it are, are like this big. I don't even know how it happened that there's one on eBay, but you're going to definitely appreciate it. Definitely going to appreciate it. Samuel, David, what is going on, man? What is up? 
but uh yeah so i'm over it uh i will live i will live you know like i say all the time uh i ain't gonna wake up dead tomorrow and if i do it's not gonna be because i didn't get that book oh no i don't i don't do stan lee signature man everybody's got stan lee signatures man come on everybody's got stan lee signatures this is this is like super duper so, like like you were talking about like, like a rare book this book is is definitely like like up there man it's definitely up there it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but i know justin's gonna dig it the guys on the hunt's gonna dig it i just need to win a couple more times and uh she's mine she is mine i already got the kirby i already got the kirby baby i already got that one that video is coming out soon Ooh, spoilers sorry still watch the video please <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Dewey. <laughs> oh, so we have lost Nick. Um, I don't know where he went. And uh, he probably wants to make another glass of tea. Yeah, probably. Probably did. Uh, so we went through the new new the new pickups. We went through the reviews. We just did the toy box. We are chugging right along, man. We're gonna have to uh break this up a little bit because I mean we're we're moving way too fast. We we can't end this in an hour and a half. Hey, a well well oiled machine. We're efficient. We're just right. These people came to hang out for four or five hours, and Ooh. I don't know. I don't know, man. See, he's got a Stan Lee signature signed by Stan Lee. Stan Lee signed Kellogg's cornflake boxes, man. <laughs> I mean, it is it's crazy though. That's something we talk about. Like like it's crazy. Like the amount of like things out there that have uh Stanley signatures on it compare and, and the, and the value that it still holds. Like, cause, cause like in the comic book realm, usually it's like the, the fewer of these that there are, the more valuable it is. But I, I would venture to say there's probably not any, anybody that has signed more books than Stan Lee. I mean, that I, I mean, can you think of maybe Todd McFarlane would be the only one I could think that would rival Stan Lee for the amount of books signed. What do you, what do you think? Um, no, I, I think there's, uh, I mean, cause think about it. Like, like if you hear Stan, if, if you heard Stan Lee was going to be somewhere, like people are coming from everywhere. I mean, everywhere, man. I mean, I see Stan Lee signature books on, on books that he didn't even have nothing to do with, which is like. You probably like hurt like Stan Lee's here. Oh, well, I got this book. Here you go. <laughs> um, but the, I mean, the only other person I can think of that that people would travel hours upon hours to to meet to get a signature would be Kevin Eastman. Yeah, yeah, Eastman's got a lot of sigs out there. That that's probably like your top three: McFarlane, Eastman, and Stan Lee. I would think as far as never Stan sending Lee. anything to McFarlane. <laughs> that cheap bastard. He does his signature like he does his toys now. Half-assed. <laughs> I still have yet to get my spawn Kickstarter in, and now they're going for like a third of what they were. Great. <laughs> Matt, Matt, yeah, absolutely. Like, 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 you're not going to get any more of those. That's for sure. You're not going to get any more stand books. But, um, but yeah. Um, oh wow. Uh, I hope you're talking about your, your. You're talking about like, like, like one of these bags, right? Like you're talking about a comic bag. I hope that's what you're talking about, bro. It's not. Like you, that, that's, that's, that's a gangster signature, man. I hope you guys tattooed afterwards. <laughs> oh man. Have y'all look, I'm seeing a, like references to Ron and some other people. This is getting a little weird. Uh, yeah, they are. They are even, even with the T McFarlane, like, mm. Mm. but I mean, like I was with Nick cause I was, when I saw that, cause that was actually my book that Nick, Nick sent like, no, I paid like, for it. You just I understand you paid. But, so this is how it went that night. We got a buddy, Phil. Uh, he, he We met him through Facebook. He was one of the first people we started buying from auctions on Facebook when we first started collecting. And uh, Phil was uh, kind of having a rough night one night. And I was like, hey, man, let's 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 get a let's let's just, let's make a get a big book. So I bought a TMNT slab from him and Phil had been showing off this this. Hulk 340 that, I mean, definitely looked like it was 9.8 quality, 100%. And uh, he had it super cheap, and I had been eyeballing it, and I was putting some money back every week. 
Nick goes on and buys that one. I'm like, you fool. I didn't mean buy that book. <laughs> like, why would you? I've been telling you I'm going to buy that one. This is what Nick likes to do, though. He likes to uh, he likes to swoop in and steal my joy sometimes. And uh, so he did that. And you know what happened? Karma got him because he got a T. McFarlane signature and a 9.6. So that's what happens when you try to, to, to mess over your big brother. Um, stuff happens and doesn't go your way. Just saying. It went very well my way because now I have a $1,700 book sitting over there because of it. So Yeah, but you was pissed off when you got that book back. So that was good enough for Ooh, me. I was mad. I mean, I got over you buying the book. You got over what happened to you, but... Hey, you still got yours. You still got yours, buddy. <laughs> uh, Austin said, Nick, doesn't the Spawn toy come with comics? I believe so. I don't know if each individual toy gets their own comic or if he's just going to get one comic because I, I think, honestly, I I have think no it's going in each box is what he was yeah. saying. So I don't know if I'm going to sell or not yet, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, uh, Austin, but if I do decide to sell the set, I will certainly reach out to you first and um yeah hey austin uh I, I was hanging out at killer finds today and uh, i was talking to mike over there and he's got a bunch of todd I mean, or a bunch of todd a bunch of spawn stuff he said he's got some like some harder to find issues uh that he's willing to let go of so um if you want man i'll get him to give me what he's got and i'll let you know man so i'll, I'll hit you up on instagram for that i, I told him i knew the perfect person so and I have a bunch of the old Spawn toys too. I'm I actually think that might be the only thing I actually finish and connect or collect. Yeah, I'm Skeff, sure. Skeff's doing the same thing, man. He's just sell the figures, keep the comics. What he's doing with his. Selling it all. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anywho's well, let's let's talk about let's talk about something real quick. So, uh, announcement time. Announcement time. Nick, can you check the numbers real quick? Let us know where we're at. Yeah, we're like 17 away still. Nah, we're we're we were like 17 away, so we're eight away. Okay, so we're eight away, guys. So we're gonna hit 2,500 subscribers before tomorrow lunchtime, probably. So probably next, tonight. yeah, I mean, it may happen before we end the live stream. <laughs> it's crazy. Next Saturday night on the comic book Babylon, guys. Everybody needs to be here. Everybody, tell everybody. We're doing the 2,500 subscriber giveaway uh, next Saturday night. You guys have been seeing us plug it in all the videos. We've got three. I you. quit doing it. <laughs> huh? So I quit putting that even in there because it like it I was mean, it's, it's been crazy. Um, but we got three huge, huge prizes we're giving away. Donated uh, by Back-to-Back uh, -back Comics and Married to Georgia, my local comic shop. Big thank you to those guys. <laughs> They hooked you guys up. They hooked you guys up hard. And uh, so please, please reach out and 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 follow them on IG at Back to Back Comics The Shop. Yep. It's got to be Back to Back Comics The Shop, not just Back to Back Comics. That's a whole other page. So look for The Shop. Um, but they, they donated out of the, I mean, like some serious, serious stuff for you guys. And we're going to be giving that away to you guys next week. We're going to have three different winners. And we're going to do the drawings for that next week on top of, the drawing for December's bro box or is it January's bro box? January. January's bro box. So we're going to be doing the drawing for that as well. Uh, if you are new here, um, the bro box is something we offer to our gold tier members who have joined the channel. And uh, so we put everybody that is a gold tier member in the wheel of winnings and we spin the wheel. The winner gets uh, one of these awesome BCW store folios. Uh, donated by our sponsor BCW, who we appreciate so much. Make sure you're using BCW for all your comic book collecting supply needs, and uh, you're gonna get one of those for free. It's not gonna be a black one though. They, we've got ones with all kind of graphics on it. It's filled with comic books. We try to pick up some of the hot stuff that comes out through the month, and Nick puts it in a nice like actual wooden crate that you have to pry open and stuff. So yeah, so Legion of Comics just opened one up, and you can see what came in there. Right. So, uh, so, so, I mean, it, we, we try to make sure we try to make sure that it's appreciate that, Justin. We try to make sure that it is something, uh, that is well worth, uh, your, your fee for being a gold tier member. So, uh, you can reach out to anybody that has won, uh, yep. one of those boxes. And, and I, I'm hoping they'll tell you that, that we, we do it right. We, we try to make sure that the value is way there. 
Uh, yeah, so last month was. Week as well. Um, and uh, we're excited about the the giveaway for the 2,500 subscribers. You guys are nuts, man. You guys are nuts. We, we've pulled, we, we, we have, we've gained 500 new people uh, that have subscribed to our channel in, in this month. And it is absolutely freaking exploded our heads at this point. We don't understand it, but we appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It's, it's been insane to see the the progress we've made in the last yeah. what twenty two days, twenty three days. Yeah, so um, super so humbled. I was just gonna say super humbled by it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> now, real quick. Real yeah, go quick. ahead. I know you wanted to uh, pull that. Yeah. So. You know, we don't always get updates when people join, but I try to go in there and, and look, and I still have to update our thank you page. But for comics by the cover, it's one of us will gobble yeah, one of us. We <laughs> accept that one of us. We will gobble one of us. We accept that one of us. We will gobble one of us. Jordan! 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 Yep, comics by the cover. So he joined over the week. Uh, super appreciative of that. His link to his channel and stuff's in the description, as along with all of our other members that do do content. Uh, so we appreciate you, man, um, and all that good stuff. Nosh, man, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's if it's the event of the year. The um, event of the year is going to be in June, or is it July? You said July, July one. July well, one. It, I like the chat suggestion. Suggestion. It needs to be held on uh, nine two. Why nine two? Oh Jesus! We are gonna have to have time to get it all figured out because, like at this point, with with, with where we're where we're at right now, like it's looking more and more like a possibility. I'm waiting on Nick to tank the channel. Like that. <laughs> at this point, I'm waiting on Nick to just completely tank the channel because I we told my wife last night. I think I'm gonna have to punch Dustin in the face at some point during the summer, and she's like, "What do you mean?" I said, "Well." This is what we agreed to, and I don't know why we did it. I wish my camera would catch focus on me and not my TV. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be the event of the year. If we hit 5,000 subscribers by, by 1159, July 1st, I am going to absolutely put all of the hands all on his face, and he don't like me touching his face. I'm gonna touch all over his face, though. We are I'm going to shoot him out. Justin Birch has already volunteered. Somehow he's gonna get down here. Yeah, we'll have to definitely give some time and space on that, huh? Said so we'll definitely have to make it later in the fall. But yeah, but Nosh, no, what I was gonna say is <laughs> Nosh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> don't give up money for us. Yeah, Let man, sure. absolutely not. <laughs> Never give up money for anybody. You don't have to be present if you win, you know, yeah, to get yeah. your prize. Like we're we're not going to do that, but uh, it would be cool. It would be cool to have the house packed out. That's for sure. Yes, Kev. So if we hit five thousand by July, which means we have to stay on this like literally mathematically, it has to stay as consistent as we've been all mm -hmm. January to make that goal. So, which I didn't think was going to happen. That's why I agreed I know. to. And that's why he said, like, yeah, I know five hundred. Hey. Month is insane, dude. Y'all go check out Berkey Burke and the Berkey Bunch. Now, I will say he does like Wally West over Barry, but y'all don't hold it against him. Hey, but he's he's in here trying to like, he's in here, he's in here trying to. What's up, Firehawk? Know, he's in here trying to act like he and all that while he's out here with, with his own damn comic book cover. All right. So don't, don't be trying to act like you ain't like you ain't out here big time in it with your own variants. Okay. <laughs> no. Perry, we need to get Perry and Bueller to come and do the uh, uh, the play by play. The play by play, right? The, what is it Joe Rogan does? I already said I wanted Perry and Bueller to do commentary, yeah. but Bueller has to bring his chalupas. <laughs> I know. I had to comment on that video. Like, really, middle aged with a little. Yeah, well, that oh, was like yeah. his actual previews video. Come on, dude. <laughs> um, so. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Good, Firehawk. How yeah, are you doing? Sure. Everybody, welcome, Firehawk. We appreciate you. Absolutely. I want to plug something real quick, and he's probably going to be upset if he if they hit this goal. But uh, on top of Skeff's comic knowledge, uh, trying to get to that two thousand subscriber mark, I know he's getting there. I think he has a giveaway going on. I know Burke has a giveaway going on for two thousand. Whack comics. I'm going to talk about Whack Comics for a minute, all right? 
If y'all, if you're still in here, Lee, you, you need to just drop a little comment real quick. Nick, you have something playing with it, giving me an echo. Uh, Lee, if you're still in here, drop a little comment somewhere so I can throw you up on the screen here. They have a subscriber giveaway going on right now that if by the end of next month, they hit, I think, what did he say? 1,500 subs? Uh, it's crazy because they're going to give away a 9.6 Ultimate Fallout 4. First print. Okay? And Tyler does not want to do this. Okay? And he swears if they hit it, he's going to be happy about giving it away. But I know he's going to cry. I know he's going to cry. But I'm just saying, Wack Comics is trying to get to 1,500. By the end of next month, they're giving away a 9-6 Ultimate Fallout 4. I think they're around 350 right now. So um, Lee got Tyler to come down from like 5 million to, to 1,500. But <laughs> so uh, just and, and I know Southern Comic Geek just announced a giveaway today, too. So all these guys are members of the channel. So we definitely want to uh, shout them out. And uh, if anybody has one that we didn't shout out, I'm so sorry. I just I'm sorry. All the cha all the channels are in all the links are in the bio. So, I do right. need a new are we ready? For, We've like, done all the plugin. I don't even care. I just want another first print. I don't care if it has like somebody drew a picture on the front. I, I just need one. <laughs> a right. nine point two would be great. <laughs> are we ready? This, this is not going to be a nine two by then, bro. I'm just telling you right now, it's not going to be a nine two by the end of the fight. It's going to end up at 8 5. You keep on. All right. So, hot topic. Slab of ribs in the, in the refrigerator. Hot topic. Would you rather build a comic book company? Really, what this is, is why you should pick Donnie Cates to build you around your comic book company over James Tynan. Basically, that's what this is about. How, how are we going to determine who wins this? I guess that's what I was... Chat vote. Chat vote all day. Okay. All right. Now, Kenneth, thank you so much, man, for stepping by, stopping by. We appreciate you hanging yeah, out. Yeah, man, thank you so much. Uh, and, and the constant yeah. support and, and comments, I mean... Now, Matt, when you go subscribe to WAC Comics... Yes, let's give a disclaimer. It all on purpose. Let, let's give a disclaimer on WAC Comics because... Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you guys right now, they're not, they don't call themselves WAC Comics for no reason. Uh, they give out a lot of information and, and suggestions on things that you absolutely should not do. No, but their whole thing is like, just, they, they have a lot of fun and they're, they're very comedic, but they do have a lot of comic knowledge. And, and when you watch their videos, it's just, just remember, like, like, it's just about having fun. You know, they're, they're they they do not they don't mean any harm by anything they're doing or anything like that. They're not trying to really convince you to, uh, pour a gallon of hand sanitizer on your hands to keep your hands clean, you know, over top of a comic book. Like they're just trying to entertain us. So just, just to throw that out there, don't, don't, don't take them too seriously. It, I, I'm sure they don't want you to. All right. So let's jump into the hot topic tonight. So if you're new here, we normally do a hot topic once a month, a top 10 once a month and a show off once a month. And we'll either do a fourth version of that at some point during the month, depending on what's going on or any big discussion. So, uh, where this came from, Dustin's a huge Donny Cates fan. And <laughs> Dustin's a huge James Tyne in the fourth fan. Okay. Huge. Uh, huge. Donny Cates obviously is the rock star at Marvel. James Tyne would be considered probably the rock star at DC and everywhere uh, else. But, uh, literally, um, both two of the, two of the best writers on right now. So the concept of this is, would you build your comic book company? If you were Ross Ritchie starting up again, or if you're Todd McFarlane starting up again, or, or the IDW guy, I don't even know who started that company. I feel bad now. Um, who would you choose as your cornerstone writer? If you had your choice and Dustin is going to take James Tyron in the fourth, obviously, uh, I am a, I enjoy both, but for the sake of ruining Dustin's life and uh, getting him very angry tonight, I'm going to go with Donnie Cates. Uh, I'm half a six pack in, and I don't drink often, so you might want to watch it. I'm just saying. And then, Justin, what is your position? Where are you coming from? <sighs> you know, I, this is hard, right? At least I'm mute your mic, Dustin. I'm. 
I'm trying to be uh, as objective as possible. I still don't know if I'm sold on my answer yet. And keep this in mind for anybody that may be watching. This is truly just fan. How would you say it? It's fantasy booking, more yeah. or less. Yeah, right? well, so theirs is. You all know when you come to me, it's all facts, baby. You you are starting a comic book publisher. You are the publisher. You're starting a comic book company. You can choose uh, either Donny Cates or James Tywin on the fourth uh, to to be your flagship writer. And who do you pick? So, um, I'm going to go with uh, uh, James uh, Tywin on the fourth as my pick. Well, we have a, right. a first time comment ever from uh, a, a new person here. Uh, I'm not sure who this Perry reacts is, but says he put his money on Kate's. He's not a great writer, but the uh, he's great at marketing his own books. So uh, Perry reacts. Thanks for showing up, man. Hope you're subscribed to the channel and uh, make sure to check out some of our content, bro. All right. So I'm. can I start with my argument first? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. All right. So, uh, for the record, we still haven't heard who Dustin officially picked. Oh, go ahead, Dustin. Oh, I mean, it's just like in sync. There's only one I'm picking, and it's JT. Nosh, have a good night, my friend. Night, brother. I'm gonna get your stuff to you. I'm sending it out Monday if I can get to the post office before it closes. <laughs> and hopefully, he'll pack it well. Um, all right. So, my opening argument. You guys ready for this? It's gonna be so simple. Uh, if everybody would that is listening to me listening to us right now, I would just simply like you to comment which of these two you prefer, whether it's Kate's or whether it's Tyna. That's all I need. And then uh, we will see uh, the reason why you should go with Donnie Kate's immediately after that. Justin, Dustin. What did you just say? Because I, I've had a few too many, and I promise you I just zoned out all the way, and I was thinking about how I could – uh, if I had a box to pack this slab in. <laughs> so I told everybody that is listening to drop a comment on who they prefer as a writer, Kate's or Tynan. And then based on that survey, I will easily be able to tell you that Kate's will be the winner. Well, I mean, I can't help that everybody doesn't have, you know, a smart brain. And I'm so, but realistically though, uh, and again, I don't carry the way, right? Um, I'm just kidding. We all have smart brains. I'm, now I feel like I, I may have offended someone, and I'm so sorry if I did. I did not mean that. <laughs> um, just look at right. Justin's hair. <laughs> so, but again, if you look at Donny Cates, uh, Venom has been the, one of the most talked about runs. Thor, all of, everything that man touches has been blown up, and he is single handedly the best hype man for Donny Cates. Uh, there's no other better hype man. Then Donny Cates is a hype man. The only other person that's probably a bigger hype man for themselves is maybe Liefeld. <laughs> and I think Donny has surpassed that. So, Dustin. All right. So, Donny Cates is his own best own hype man. Who hypes up Tynan? Exactly. He's not worth hyping up. He doesn't need hyping up. You know who hypes up his books? His books. Okay. Let me ask you guys a question. Tell me a, a series right now. Right now, what series on that is being written has more potential to be something that is that is definitely turned into a series or a movie? The books are on fire going through the roof. What has more potential? Then something's killing the children. Okay. You really think Netflix is going to be able to truly push a TV show ripping children in half? You think that's going to go over well? Well, they're producing the the one with, with the little girls doing the crap they're doing. So I would imagine they don't give a damn. Well, I absolutely. And if they don't, somebody will. They get the first look. If they pass, somebody will. Second point, your to response to your question, you asked, what has a better potential? You're telling me right now, Noel is not a larger potential to walk up into the MCU as a big bad over the next 10 years and blow anything, something's killing the children out? 
I think that they've got so much work that they have to do first. I, you said potential. Think, you said yeah, potential. But, I mean, I still think, okay, so how many Venom books, Null related right now, are hot? You've got what, maybe three? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, the one book by itself. Nick, how much did than... you see your something killing children books are, are worth just for no, no reason? Other that. than the fact whoa, 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 the series whoa, whoa, whoa. is so damn good. People are wait, wait, paying wait, 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 wait. insane. Wait. Go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to add one thing real quick. I don't think we should count how much books are going for on the secondary market because that's not money a publisher gets. No, but it, it, it shows the popularity. That is absolutely right. No, no, no. Justin... Justin made a good point. We're talking about a perspective. Okay, fine. I'll the delete that argument. I'll start a whole new argument. I'll start a whole new argument, okay? No, 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 no. You you can keep your potential argument. No, I just that, that's fine. Because... I'll start another one, okay? Because because I, I honestly, 100%, and I, and I know this is just opinionated, and I know Nick is going to come in here with his comments that he's going to say that he, does, he probably looked something up, and he hasn't even read the books to know, but... To me, old Donnie C is just like a one-trick pony, though. You know, he he, he does it. what he's doing with Venom. He's leaving Venom. Okay, he's going to go to Thor. He's going to pull the same tricks in Thor that he did in Venom. Okay, he, he he's just like a one-trick. To me, Tynan has the ability to go in and take a series like Batman, who people have been... It's 1121, so I'm not going to cuss. Who people have been shitting on for a, a couple of years... And he takes that series, completely CPRs it, and, and breathes brand new air into it, makes it one of the most popular series, creates several new characters with tons of potential. All right. And then same time, he's he's writing books like Wind that are going that, that people are super excited about. He's writing things like Something's Killing the Children that people are super excited about, The Woods that people are super excited about. And he can take and he can write superheroes if he wants to. And he can smash it and kill it. He can write any kind of independent book that he wants to, and he's going to smash it and kill it. And everybody loves it. And and it and it's not something that is just subpar. Most, I mean, like the dude had he took Batman, which people hated, and blew it through the roof. And then he's taking something's killing the children. He blows that through the roof. I mean, Nick, the first freaking series we really started reading, Tynan wrote, and we absolutely love that. All right. So, you know, people thought, oh, what about God Country? This is me giving my opinion. I think God Country is is subpar. To me, I didn't see I didn't see that it was super great. I mean, and I've said a million times, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the premise around God Country has not touched me and Nick's lives, so we didn't really have that emotional connection to the story. So to me, that kind of says like, well, if it's not something everybody can look at and say, this is like super awesome and connect to it. Like, I don't know. Everybody can kind of look at a little girl being torn in half by a monster that nobody can see. And you kind of get a little feeling about that. Everybody can look at Batman and say like, dang, man, remember when nobody cared about Batman? And then all of a sudden now, like Batman is awesome. Batman was awesome awesome this past year he created several new characters people are excited about now people are getting super pumped up about uh red x because uh there's, there's a good chance now that uh clown hunter is going to be red x and perry has been like losing his mind over that uh i do want to read redneck perry i do want to read redneck i've never read baby teeth though and i'm not saying that that kate's can't write other stuff i'm just saying like to me right now overall tynan's got Tynan's got his hand on books that are are, are are way better right now. And Donnie's just got Venom. A lot of people don't even care for crossover. A lot of people don't even care for crossover. And to me, you know, Donnie, you know, he's the bad boy of comics. You know, I'd rather have a guy that kind of uh, keeps his hands clean and, you know, writes his books, does great jobs, makes money, writes bestsellers, writes things that people love. You know, I've never read a James Tynan the fourth book where I feel like, I think he's kind of attacking people because he doesn't agree with what they, how they, how they feel about certain things. And Donnie does not stray from that at all. You know, he feels that he, he, he doesn't, you know, hold back on social media from telling certain kinds of people, Hey, guess what? You don't need to buy my books. I don't want you to buy my books. Tynan doesn't do that. I don't ever read Tynan's books and think, you know, he's trying to push his own agenda across in his books or anything. He just writes the books to be good books. That's what he cares about. 
You know, he doesn't try to use his books to try to push other things. And I think that that's, you know, I think that's a, that's a big thing. He just worries about making great books. So I don't know. I think I've had too much to drink because now I'm getting a little dizzy, but there's nothing anybody's going to say here. Nick can push any fact that he's Googling right now because he didn't spend any time thinking about this or not. His whole, his whole thing is just making sure that, that he makes sure I look dumb trying to defend Tynan, even though in his head, he probably likes Tynan better too, but he'll never say it. So I hear what you're saying, but none of that actually matters anything at all about whether or not you should hire them and if he's going to make you money. Uh, yes, that is correct. That is why I'm here. So, <laughs> well, this is my opinion on why I would hire someone. <laughs> is he going to make you the most money? I, I think Tynan, I don't think Tynan's even got started yet. Tynan has already said. Dude, Tynan is, you, you act like Tynan's something new, dude. He's been around for a I while. I know. I know he yeah. has, but I don't think he's really, really gotten started. Go ahead, Justin. Mother, so, I was so, about to let one loose. Oh, Dustin, so, you've got to learn to let Justin talk. You, you, so, you haven't stopped. The the thing I want to point out, and it's I'm going to piggyback off of what you said, Nick. Um, the fact is that, and I I do have numbers and I do have facts to back this up. Uh, Tyon is has been doing this longer than Kate's. Uh, 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 Tyon's first published credit was in 2012. Uh, Kate's was 2013. So they're a year apart, but that's still a year more experience that Tyon has over Kate's. I'm also going to throw this out. Uh, Tyon is three years younger than Kate's. Yep. Now that, that might not be a big deal, but if I'm starting a publisher, I want the younger guy who's going to be around longer, who has the potential to use those years to make me more money. Because that's what this is about, right? Well, yes, absolutely. I mean, However, yes, but, but at the same time, Justin, like, like, I, don't okay. don't counter argument your own guy. No, that's not what I was going to say. Well, let me rebuttal his argument, okay? Because I'm I'm on the opposite end. Um, so you say you're going to pick the young guy. Three years is no big deal. I mean, you're, you're right. I, I agree. People. You look at people who have been in this business for far Skip too long. Is relevant, so, like, exactly, it, it makes no like. I, we got to go with Skeff because he's Dustin, smart. Dustin, you're counter arguing his argument that's supposed I you. know, but I was just saying. Okay. All right. So three years is irrelevant. Uh, James Tynan has had longer to make an impact, and he's made a good impact. Donnie has been doing it for less time, and he still made a huge impact, which means he still has some potential left on the table. What if Tynan is leveling out? You know why he's not what leveling if, out? Where's Tynan done his best work? Like, well, like, that's, like, that's like, 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 if we're talking money, where's his best work come from? Well, money's always going to come from DC. They're always going to. No, 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 no. I, I would say his best work has come from in his be and, and 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 stuff. I would say his best work has come from his independent titles, which he is going to be doing exclusively when his contract ends up with, with DC in August. He's already said that, and that he's got things working that he ain't telling nobody about. I mean, like right now, he, he's he's splitting his time between Wind, Batman every two weeks, and Something's Killing the Children. Imagine what he's going to be able to do when he can really focus on his creator-owned IPs and his indie books that he where his passion is. Okay, where his real passion is. I'm I'm excited for it. Okay, I'm for that's it. great. You want to tell you something that's he's awesome? A professional. I think he's a much more professional and, and I think he, he actually cares more about making sure the story is great and something that the fans are going to enjoy. Now, Donny Cates is real good at fan service. He's real good at fan service with, with, with his, his superhero books. But if you took Donny and you took Tynan and you put them head to head with their best indie books to me, and this is just me personally, I don't, I don't, I know baby teeth was good. I know everybody loved baby teeth. I know everybody loved, uh, 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 God country. And I know everybody, but I'm telling you something's killing the children. You're not going to touch that man. I'm telling All you. All right. So real quick, you're not going to touch that. Let's look at, we're going off facts based on money, right? Because 
I'm a publisher. I want a lot of You're money. You're going based on money. I'm not. Okay. Well, that's people well, who want to stay. Why are, we, in, why are we even having this argument then? <laughs> I'm just exactly. Saying. If like you you start a publisher to to make money and, and be rich. Both of these right. guys are gonna make you money. We're just giving well, the first off, no one, like no one actually does comics to make money. Uh just throwing that out there. Yeah, well, I'm, but I'm saying if you're gonna invest all this time, effort, and money into creating a whole new publisher, at the end of the day, you do want to have some cash on the table. Right. That's realistic. I, I I think I'm just being uh facetious. I see what you're saying. But let me let me tell you these numbers. Uh, let's look at the. That you just googled right now. No, no, I'm giving. It doesn't matter right now or yesterday or tomorrow. They're they're still facts. It doesn't matter when I did it. That's irrelevant, my friend. So from November 30th to December 6th, you know what the uh, number one, number one ordered book was? Crossover number three, cover B. You know what the number fifth book was? What was crossover number B? What? What do you? What was what, crossover I just, B? What was number three B? What was it? What cover? I don't know what cover it was. You know what cover matter. it was? It was the damn Spawn cover Todd McFarlane was hyping up. Okay, and I'm going to continue, but it still doesn't matter because guess who wrote it and guess whose book it was. And right. a ton of people don't care for the book. It don't matter. It's selling and it's money, and that's what this is about. Crossover number three, cover A, was the fifth most ordered book. Sixth most ordered book, Venom 32. Uh, let's keep going. Number 10, crossover three. Uh, number 13, crossover three. Uh, uh 16, King and Black. Go ahead. I, I just want to interrupt and, and say that I feel like you're cherry picking your numbers because you're not giving us the full list of what those other numbers are. Are there any uh tie on books in, in that list? No, no, I'm gonna tell you as soon as there is one. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll let you know as soon as we hit one. Don't worry. And how many uh, of these are like spec books that people are just ordering hundreds and dozens extra copies for? You're, you're missing the point. It is about money. I, I, I have one other one other follow up question. Is this just for one specific week in November? Yes. This is. Were there, uh, were there any tie on books that came out that week? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at all of them. Yes. So from okay. November 30th to December 6th, this is what this is. Okay. But regardless, uh, all of those were literally like he's on the list probably 15 times. Now let's go to the week previous, December 7th through 13th. Again, crossover, 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 King and Black. Uh, let's keep going. Department of Truth is all the way down on 13th. However, Donnie has one, uh, two, three, four, five, six books ahead of that, and then seven. Uh, and the seventh one right behind. Uh, yeah, so there's only basically James was on this list on the 17th and 23rd. Donnie now, was on there over 10. Hold on, I'm not done. I'm not done. Let's keep going until we hit a something's killing the children list the week prior. All right, last Ronin was top that week. Uh, let's go. Crossover was a uh, top. Let's keep going, see if we have a something's killing the children. I mean, right. look for Department of Truth because that's I just the did. everybody's loving, man. I just did. I just told you he was Donnie had seven or eight books ahead of that that week when that one came out. Seven uh, or eight? How many books is he writing? It, it, crossover, uh, cover A, B, all of those, plus Venom King and Black. Like, wh where were you at just a second ago when I was listing them off? So, so Donnie's winning with, with Marvel books. Oh, and, and, and crossover. And, and, hold on. And, 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 and books that Todd McFarlane is pushing. As well, it doesn't matter because while it's tying so in, while tying in is writing for a struggling a struggling DC publisher and an indie Shh. publisher who a lot of Marvel people do not care about. There's a lot of people that only read Marvel, that only read Marvel. Justin, so, go ahead with what you were saying. Uh, there, man, there's just, people out there who have completely wrote DC <laughs> off. There's people out there that completely write indies off and only go for Marvel. I like. I, I I feel like I'm fighting or I'm battling uh, uh, two different people uh, during this. Like uh, uh, obviously, I have a different opinion uh, than you, Nick. But I also feel like I'm battling my teammate here right now, right? Because <laughs> he he's he's going based on opinion and not factual. I get what you're saying, yes. and that's where we're different. Like he and I are totally different. Um. I don't. I don't even know. I've completely lost my train of thought. 
Uh, I mean, what, what, I'm just saying if, 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 so you're telling me if time, if Tynan wasn't writing from, if Tynan was writing for Marvel, like, yeah, it would be much better, but he started with DC. DC yeah, is still freaking DC. Yeah. But how many people out there, if you look at people who have, who, who, who completely write everything off of Marvel, I, I, I would say there's probably more people out there that literally only have a Marvel pull list. That's all they care about. Yeah. So, but, but what you're saying is all speculative. Oh, you have no fact base. It, it's it's all things that well you can't really pull that fact i mean you, what the hell would you have to do to pull that out i mean but you I, I literally see people say all the time like i don't i only read marvel i see people at my shop all the time i only read marvel i but, see oh, people all the time say they only read dc yeah but, how many is, yeah but in comparison it's probably a much smaller Dustin, number. but there's no absolute way for you to be able to come close to compare it and at the end of the day james tynan has freaking batman Okay, Batman. The yeah, that everybody wrote title. off already. It, no. If he was that damn like good, issues no, no. In. if he was that dang good, guess what? He'd bring people back. Do you think Venom? He he, he brought a lot of people hey, back. Apparently, back. not good enough. Do you do you think Venom? Okay, that's been around maybe what two three decades most. Uh, you you really that that has only hit two hundred total issues, not thousands. Do you really think if it wasn't for Donnie, Venom would be where it is now? No, well, absolutely no. not. He so came if up with no, if was at that level, Tyne, or, everybody or, or, would have that. One good character people give a shit about. One. What are you talking about? What'd you say? I say he came up with one. Okay, if you count Dylan, he came up with two. Two. It doesn't people really matter. That people actually really, 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 you really care about. If you're that dang good, you don't have to create new characters. You can take that 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 character and just make magic and that's what he has done and it shows and reflects in the sales and in the top order lists well i'm gonna do what you want me to do i'm gonna do what you want me to do tynan is better kate's is a total ass hat and i would hire tynan and i know now we will never get donnie on here but i wouldn't let him on here anyway because he's an asshole so tynan wins okay story <laughs> Fill it out with your beer and stuff. I mean, you're you taking eight work. cuss words in the first 10 minutes. Okay, but I'm not calling somebody an actual name. <laughs> this is supposed to be all in good fun and fan casting, and you're calling people names. Yeah, but Skeff, I'm saying, like, like how many people, like, 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 not that people don't really care as much. Like, I know there's a, I love Cosmic Ghost, like, I mean, it's Ghostwriter, but I don't think those are up to the same level. I mean, I think that people, I, I, to me, I think more people would say like Erica Slaughter, definitely a better character, like as far as spec goes, than than Ghost Rider. But that's not a fact. That's yeah. just your opinion. Like that's just. That, I don't care. That's what this is about. I'm giving my opinions. <laughs> I don't spend. I don't. I don't go on the computer. I don't give a damn about going on the computer. You'd be a terrible I'm businessman. Like, huh? You'd be a terrible businessman. I don't care. Justin, go ahead with your argument. Believe your me, when I, when, I, when I say I never expect to come into any kind of an argument to win, I expect to come into an argument to be uh, uh, made a fool of and, 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 and absolutely discredited for everything I say. Nobody's I always know that's coming. Nobody's discrediting you. Two, you're taking you discredit it everything I say or you're taking and it do every day. No. Don't start. No. Two, you're taking this far too personally when you start calling people names. That's when you know you've lost when you have to name call. Done. Yeah. Dig the hole. I feel it. about the guy. Dude, I mean, he does the same thing, so why can't I? Anyways, Justin, fact-based argument. Go ahead. So <laughs> I'm going to look at who's been here, who's done it before, who, who's got the most experience, right? Like maybe that's not the, the best way to go about it. Uh, but that's how I do things. I'm doing it based on numbers, based on data, based on facts. Uh, the website that I used uh, has that Donny Cates has 288 credits to his name since uh, since 2013, whereas Tyen has uh, 692 credits since 2012. Yeah. So yes, there's that extra year. But we're talking, I'm not going to do the exact math, but we're talking close to three or 400 extra books. Extra well, Tynan did write. Experience that Tynan has over Kate. Yeah, because Tynan did get that that Batman series that was a weekly released. 
Like, like he got he got thrown on that when he first started. Um, what was that? What was that? Batman scene? Eternal. Yeah, that was like a weekly release, right? And he was writing that. Yes, but he still had to write it. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like that's like he got a. Uh, I, I know that was like I don't remember how many issues that that was, but like that was a lot of credits there. So yeah. Um, the the other thing I'm going to bring up, and this is kind of objective. So if, if you want to throw it out, or I'm sorry, this is kind of uh, subjective. subjective. So if you want to throw it out, it's fine. I get it. Um, I my personal feeling is that Tyon has the ability to write more uh, write more uh, different genre types. A bigger than range. What we've seen from Kate's. Um, we know Kate's can do a superhero book. We know he can do horror. Uh, is there any other type of genres? Because I'm not as familiar with his work. So some, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the whereas with with Tyan, we've seen superhero, we've seen horror, we've seen uh, uh, like uh, child fantasy type books. Yeah. So I, I feel when? like yes. So I, I and we've seen um, like a. Mystery. I don't. I don't even know what to call Department of Truth. To be honest, a thriller almost. Yeah. So I'm taking that into consideration. Also, he's able to branch out there and, and write different genre types of books that will appeal to more people and different masses. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know this this is this is true for sure. But and, and you know and a lot of that is due to people who probably don't even read the book, but know they can make the money on the book. Again. Know? So it does not matter why. It's I understand there. Nick. It's and about it the money and tiny can't make the money. So Kate's is the winner and blah, blah, blah. I understand what I'm saying is as a, is Kate's cannot hold Tynan's pencil because Tynan is the better writer a hundred percent all day. And that's why I'm picking him. Because I can't start Marvel. I can't start DC. If I'm starting a company, it's probably going to be an independent company where they have to create new characters. They have to create new IPs. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go with somebody who's proved themselves to be consistently great at it every single time with Tynan. Justin, um, do, you want to, do you want to smack him down or do I have to? I've got a counter argument to that, but it's against my own team. So I kind of don't want to say it. No, go uh, ahead because I mean, I'm just at this point, like I'm, I like Nick enjoys making me look like an idiot. So go ahead, Dustin. Dustin, <laughs> stop, stop. A debate is not about making anybody look like an idiot. It's about counter arguments and enjoyment. But take your personal feelings out of it, okay? Oh yes, because I'm too emotional, as you told. You're me very everybody. emotional, and you every just comment agree. you made this week on our YouTube channel. So go ahead. What? Go ahead. What are you talking about? Every comment. I said one video that you're emotional. I'm not. So I looked at the grades that offend you. Hmm? If so it says you're emotional. Yeah, I know. I'm just a big old emotional teddy bear. ain't I, you need to quit drinking. <laughs> or we're not going to do this anymore while you drink. Go ahead and, and, and run me in the dirt, dude. On why Kate's is better. Justin, go ahead. New this, is no longer, this is no longer about uh, a civil conversation. Where? I, I don't think Kate's has wrote an independent title that where he's created a, a whole new IP that that beats what Tynan's done. Well, time out. First off, any book that Kate's has done that's independent, he's technically created characters. I know, but what? But I'm saying if you put if you're stacking them up against each other, what has he done that that stacks up against Tynan? Do you want me to go back to the sales numbers real quick? Because, I mean. Crossover literally has destroyed every book. Tynan is on the list by yeah, like, and, and people have been dropping off in droves. It's fine. It's still selling more. I do you know, and I don't. We don't have this this information. In front also, of us. something's killing the children. Usually doesn't have uh like five six variants every single time either. It's very inconsistent. Sometimes, sometimes something's killing children has an A cover and that's it. That's fine. But guess what? Because you're throwing in A cover, B cover, C cover, D cover. Exactly. So that means that his A cover is still selling more by itself. His B cover is still selling more by itself. C is selling more by itself, which means, hell, not only is one issue selling more than all of Tynan's, it's four, five, six of the same dang book selling more, which means more. Todd problems. McFarlane is pushing the hell out of that cover. 
to, to be fair, is that because people are buying it for the writer or for the artist that's doing the cover? Nick's not going to get into that conversation. He's no, I don't care to, who is doing the artist of the cover, yeah, whatever. He's going to stick to just it's money book book selling. That's what we're talking about. Whether it was one, two, three, yeah. whatever, it's still selling I, more. I, I get what you're saying, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I only think that that that's like half a point and not a full point, right? Because uh, how much has the writer, um, how much does the writer have to say about the artist that's doing that variant cover? Oh, I'm sure a lot. But again, whenever it's, three, four different variants and it's still above anything department of truth or something killing the children. I mean, I, right, I like, I know what you're saying and I, I know that Are you, you reading have crossovers? Numbers, you have okay. the numbers to back up this, the statistic that you're, that you're saying. Um, I just think it's, 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 uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a distraction statistic. Are you, you know. reading crossover, Nick? No, but that's irrelevant to the conversation. Are you reading? Are you reading something's killing children? Irrelevant. I'm just asking you. I just want to know. Oh yeah, I'm reading something's killing the children. I'm not reading crossover. I am reading Venom. I am reading King and Black. I am reading Department of Truth. Okay. That's irrelevant to whether or I'm not just I'm trying to make the argument that Tynan is definitely. If I'm looking okay. at who Dustin, I want Dustin, to be a better Dustin. writer, it's Tynan. Dustin, let me be clear about something. If I was picking a writer to write a story for me that I was going to enjoy and love, and that's all that mattered in the world, I'm picking James Tynan. One hundred percent. That is all that matters. I don't give a crap about any of that stuff. Out of anyone or just these two? These two. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Now, if I mean we could have a conversation if you were going to start a basketball team, you'd probably pick LeBron James, and I would pick definitely not LeBron James. No, not not anymore. Well, no, he hasn't won enough, man. I'd go with one of these younger guys. Yeah, so like, like, there's literally no way me and you will ever agree on anything ever, at all. Well, I still want Justin to really dive into this, man. He's just been playing like ref. I'm just saying, if we're allowed to pick anybody to start a publisher with, I'm going with Brian K. Vaughn. <laughs> oh, <for> sure. <laughs> yeah, dude has not missed a mark ever. Um, and he made me cry in a comic. That that that's a, that's a thing. all right. I like Skeff's thoughts here. All right, and so depend, for me answering that question, it would depend on the type of story that we're trying to tell and the genre. In any yeah. title, any genre. No, I, I need I need specifics. I need to know what type of story we're trying to tell. Well, they both write horror, right? So go that way. I'm not familiar enough with <laughs> Kate's because so, he's not as good as Tynan. Justin's that's like, fine. Justin's that's, like comedy. I'm not familiar with Kate's. <laughs> like uh, uh, scary movies. I'm not. Familiar man, with it's not. It's, it's because he hasn't read it because he's not as good, man. Oh man, I love it so much, guys. If we've missed any of your comments, uh, like, I, I specifically we'll- knew you were going to go numbers and money and all that like i didn't I, like i what? i'm not gonna go that way because that's, like it's a losing argument of course i'm gonna argue who's the better writer who do people buy the books because they enjoy that's the not what you po- then that's, you should oppose uh, the argument no no i'm mm. saying i knew you were gonna go that route when i said this i wasn't saying it was wrong up and then get emotional i wasn't saying it was wrong there was no way i was gonna be able to pose this where where i'm gonna be right then why did you do it? Because I, because people are watching right now because they like to see me get angry at you and call you names and you laugh about it and me get pissed off. They like that. So that's why we're doing it. And Justin mm-hmm. pulling his hair out because he's like, Dustin's an idiot. He just keeps letting Nick goad him into to saying stupid things so he can make him look dumb. <laughs> that's a trap. People enjoy seeing this. That is why. Now, if I wanted to make it boring, I could have said, Okay, let's talk about who is the all-around better writer. And we probably all would have came up with the same answer. And people I still would have made counter arguments. And they would th- but th- I think that would have been a much harder harder Well, that's harder purely subjective. So Justin, go ahead with what you're going to say. I don't even remember. What I, was say. I subject myself to I subject myself to this for the content. <laughs> for the content. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't I don't even remember anymore. I, I feel like uh I'm in a I'm in a uh I'm trying to do a uh you know a potato sack race and someone keeps cutting the 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 sack. Well it's bad when your own teammates cutting your sack. Yeah. Stop, I, don't, I didn't know I had a teammate. <laughs> I would have just I would have just took myself backstage and let Justin go with it, but he still would have lost. <sighs> so two of us are drinking tea. And, and for anybody watching now, I think this is the first time I've drank alcohol in months. So and this yeah, is next why. This is why I literally did this just because I knew what was gonna happen tonight. So we have not had a bad freak out moment from you uh, I'm all not year. Out. I'm not freaking out. Dude, you started calling people bad names for no reason during oh, an argument. Plenty of reason. Yeah, but you not an argument. Plenty of reason. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was that was not too bad. So chat, who do you think won the argument? Let's vote. Go. <laughs> Great. I just put dip in my water. I appreciate that. Douche. I'd rather them vote on who they'd rather uh, have have uh, start start their company with. <laughs> so first vote, <laughs> who won the argument, and then we'll Look, do another vote for who they would pick. I'm just saying. I, so, to be fair, uh, in my own defense, I never feel like I got to present my argument. Uh, I wish you would. Go ahead and take it, man. No, no, no. We are past that point now, my friend. <laughs> I mean, you're giving me crap because I get emotional about stuff and I bring my own emotion and personal feelings and stuff. And like you're defending a guy that does the exact same thing in his books. I don't give a dang what he <laughs> does and where if he's making money. That's what this was about. I'm not going to get into why he's making money on it, but uh, let's go. Whatever's next. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Josh picks Tynan, so I win. Superheroes like I don't know, <laughs> but Skep did pick Kate, so. Ugh. All right, Justin. Seriously though, I would love to hear your. Guys. I would love to hear your argument. What you had prepared for a few minutes uninterrupted. No, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I have. I'm just saying, JT. If you're out there, bro, I got you every day. <laughs> You're a scholar and a gentleman. You're a professional and you act accordingly. You produce some of the best, best content to read daily. And nobody can take that away from you, man. Not even Nick and his damn freaking facts. Because the facts are nobody's writing better books than James Tynan the fourth. And that's so all. I, I, I all still that. like people are still saying like the facts are nobody writes a better story than James Tynan the fourth right now out of the two of them. Not now. No. <laughs> Marv. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was a Christmas present. I got this and uh, they, they sent along uh, these, these two things to me. So if anybody that's joining us, that's new to the channel, I, I believe Firehawk's a new commenter. <laughs> a superheroes like, I don't blame you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anybody that's alternative facts, that's right. Dustin's full of alternative facts and his own truths. He, well, you know, <laughs> I mean, Boom Studios doesn't have the ability to produce the same type of movies as Marvel does and just throw characters in there left and right to promote spec buys like crazy. So that that hurts Tynan as much. DC's film set, their, their, their whole their movie things ain't all that hey, Dustin. So, far, so they don't have the ability to, to pull any of that in. So. Dustin, hey, Dustin. Kate's is great because of hold on, his hold on. Can I can I tell you something real quick? Shh. You got to let people talk. You just made a very strong argument for a indie publisher hiring Tynan over Kate's. That was great. As an indie publisher, you don't have the ability to drive spec. You're right. Kate's. I spec said that earlier, and you. No, you didn't say it in that way. Said, huh? You did not say it in that way. Not even close. That right there was a beautiful argument. But then I would have said, well, crossover still selling more than Venom and Department of Truth. So it's still not good enough. That, <laughs> and that's because of, again, like I said, it's because a lot of that has to do with the fact that people thought 
because it's an image book and it's called crossover. Okay. We already know spawn has been talked about being in it because Todd McFarlane's dropped info on it. We already know that Savage Dragon has been talked about because it's gonna, so people are thinking, Oh my God. Okay. Uh, first issue, they're talking about a man with an S on his chest. So is this going to be a crossover of all these different platforms combined? That's why people are buying it. They aren't buying it because the story's great. We've heard people say over and over on YouTube, yeah. other creators but, that, but, that the book's not that great. Justin, go ahead. Cause I think you're about to smack him. And, and but, I think the sales are going to dip hard on crossover. What's yeah, up, but, you? but if they dip, so what they own, he just made, he just had the top 10 best selling books for, for the month. They got their money. Yeah. But and then you again, can I'm, and put him on something else. Hey, real quick. Kachung, is this something I should open? I'm not sure if I should, but if you say I should open it, I'm going to open it up tonight. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm still, I'm still sticking with my original. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, like, like Kate's has got so many people, like, like McFarland, and he's got Marvel. We in his that, that are able to 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 help him make himself Dustin a pros, a prospect, which drives his books. And J, JT don't have all that, and he's still right there, talked okay. about right side by side with him. So a much things, smaller platform. Two things. If he was that terrible of a writer, why the I'm hell? I'm not saying he he's a terrible Marvel? writer. I didn't well, say that. Uh, no, the I'm saying if he's that they're standing on are on different levels, but yet they're standing eye to eye. So you're no, they're not standing eye to eye. Oh, so absolutely. Me, That's why so we're talking about this. Oh, no, 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 this no, is no. the conversation everyone talks about. When you talk about who the be best fair, two are. Like, to be it, fair, it, I've never actually heard anybody make this argument, but, um, anyways. Um, if Kate's, why wouldn't I hire the guy that Marvel's putting all this money into? Why wouldn't I hire the guy that Todd McFarlane's backing? If those two companies trust in him, why shouldn't I? Well, if we're going that Ooh. route, like if, if we're going to look at that, like, okay, it, how are you going to get him away from Marvel as a brand new starting company? How the hell are you going to get Tynan away from Batman? I think it would be a lot of easier considering he's leaving DC in August. Now you're adding looking second. forward to being away from that and being able to work on his own creative uh, own IPs. Uh, so you just added a totally different art. It's like stipulation to the argument that I, I think is. Well, you hmm. did too. No, I didn't. I said, why shouldn't I trust the same people that the best people are trusting? If, if Tynan was somebody at that level, then why shouldn't? And again, let me be very clear because, like, I don't carry the way. I'm just doing this to to make an argument. It's a debate, but why 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 didn't Marvel pick up Tynan if he was that good? Because he's already locked in at DC, I believe. But I'm saying that he he was available whenever DC picked him up. Why didn't mm -hmm. Marvel scoop in? He had an in with um, I can't remember his name. Snyder, I think it was Snyder. Was it Snyder? He had Just a connection with done. DC to get his foot in the door. So he had a connection with DC to get his foot in the door. But I mean, they're on two different platforms. But yet, you know, like I said, Tynan is still he's still right there. So I mean, he doesn't have Todd McFarlane hyping him up all the time because he's going to have a character on his covers, and he doesn't have the Marvel spec because they've got the better movies. So to me, that, that's what makes Tynan the better writer. People get excited because Noel might make an appearance and that might be another book that they can, you know, turn for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So Kachunk, is it good to, for me to open this? Yes or no? Do I open it? I want to. But if you think I should keep it closed, then I will. So, but anyways... I honestly don't think that was as, you know, okay, open it. Sure. Cool. Um, so, I mean, that wasn't bad. I like the argument. Justin, are you going to come back? We're done. I think we're done. I think. Sorry. We're done. I, I, I was reading some Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, man. Another night I like this. Chat, I hope the chat appreciates that. that <laughs> like I said, I, I knew this was going to happen, but I knew people would love it. <laughs> I don't think Justin loved Justin it. Justin knew this was going to happen. I didn't think it would be like 
this bad. Well, I'm not as smart as Nick, so I don't I don't have the ability it's to not argue. smart. <laughs> There's no intelligence level in this at all. I just go off of what I've read and and Nick goes off of money, so that was way smarter than what I was doing. So see, look at there. I told you. I told you you gotta open it, man. That's cool. See, Firehawk has pretty much disagreed with everything I said almost. And he's I mean, I don't know if it's a he or he, but they're enjoying the piss out of it. <laughs> That's all it makes. <laughs> right on, man. Justin, are you gonna make it, man? But yeah, I, I you know I had caffeine from some delicious Earl Grey tea. Uh so That's cool. I Is will that, I will survive. I will make it. Uh, that's the first appearance of Michonne, I think, right? I believe so, yeah. Hmm. But that's most of those books. Most of those books have like a really that's why I said like uh the the 100 yeah. has um a um um a copy where uh he talks about Lucille being a thirsty vampire bat and that book is like $400 raw. Dang. So that's what I'm saying. Like you got to open them, dude, because there's, there's some serious stuff in some of those. Some of them ain't, ain't really all that, but some of them got some serious stuff. And yeah. I thought 19 was her first appearance. I may be wrong. Mm. So I wonder who won that argument. You want to keep going back? I mean, uh, we we're in a good place, and, and you want to go back to the dark. No, no <laughs> one. No, we all lost that one. I lost. I lost. No, no. We, I we won all. with the T-shirt. I lost the argument. But I knew I would lose the argument. I knew. Well, next time when we do a hot topic debate, you're not allowed within alcohol. People aren't gonna care though. They'll be gone, man. We held, we had thirty people oh watching it at almost midnight, bro. I care when you oh start calling God. creators' names. You, wow. Nick, Nick, it's about it's a if it's about the numbers and the facts, bro. The facts say and the numbers say more people are watching us at almost midnight tonight than they were last week. <laughs> Justin, go ahead. Oh, man, I you should probably drink that water faster. Donnie Cates ain't coming on here, man. No, 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 no. That's not why I'm saying it. The, the you, you really heavily slurred your words there. Did I, dude, this is how bad of a lightweight I am. This is what I'm saying. Like, I never drink. I bought a six-pack of Miller Lite. Okay. You, you I've got three left in stuff. here. I've got three left in here. All I drink <laughs> is water. I don't put anything else in my body except water. <laughs> So honestly, people are still saying that you won. The last Ronin is 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 beats everything Donny Case ever did. <laughs> I <laughs> win. So it's sold more copies. Nothing, did you hear nothing, it? nothing, nothing else sold, outsold the last Ronin, Nick. I win. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the last Ronin the final is the single greatest comic book hunter on the planet. Nobody can top. I'm telling you, I'm never inviting him to be a part of the hunt because I will not have it, man. That dude is the single greatest comic book hunter on the planet. I but would yet, love to see his uh, character he would portray. I know, right? But all I can, but I can say that though. Last Ronin wins everything. Nothing outsold Last Ronin. Seventy-five covers for issue number one. So Kachung loves when we argued during our top tens. Kachung, you came in a little late, man, but Dustin was full blown old school top ten angry. And I, I anybody that this is like you know you're I know we've got a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new people. Our normal content we drop. If you're enjoying that, please stay for that because this is something we don't do too often. But I knew like. Like, like our live stream numbers have been dipping towards the end, man. People are getting a little bored sometimes. So I'm like, we got to stoke the fire. And I knew, I knew, I told him, I even said it earlier. I was like, I got to grab some beer. I'm always like, why? Like, <laughs> when do you drink? And I'm like, we're going to need it tonight. We're going to need it tonight because tonight's going to be, tonight's going to be uh, me and Nick in the mud. And so Nick tonight, but just remember guys, 5k by July one facts numbers dollars do not matter i am whooping the dog crap out of nick and every one of these top tens and debates 
I'm going to be smack talking him the whole time. I'm going to be hitting him with a James Tyne in the fourth, right upside the head every time. <laughs> so Tosh and Josh said they want in on the hunt. There's a hundred dollars. Oh, hell no. Y'all can't come on the hunt unless you agree to be my tag partner. We do have a tag team champion, and y'all can't come on the hunt unless you're my partner. I'm not fighting y'all. No. I told y'all, I got a book on eBay I'm trying to get. I need these eBay gift cards every week. I've been the champ since before Thanksgiving, all right? I can't I can't lose yet, and I ain't letting y'all come on there and do it. <laughs> hey, just one, one, one quick question for you. Uh-oh. How, how many more beers do you need before you fall asleep in your chair and we just leave? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not pulling the comic book poser. I'm not doing the comic book poser. I don't see how they do that, man. That's They're crazy. Dude, man, you berserker. Is, it, I'm so pumped. And 616 Comics just dropped two exclusives that they're about to put. I don't know if they've hit yet, but they have two exclusives that are dirty, man. They are I'm dirty. a little jealous we didn't announce those. I know, right? I told him, I was like, hey, we didn't announce them, but I hope we get some of them. Go check out 616comics.com if y'all are excited about Berserker. They have some awesome variants for that, dude. And yes, Kachung, absolutely, man. 9.2 all day. But it's not going to be forever. This 9-2 is going away. So check out this. I was talking to Josh about the 1 in 1,000. <laughs> Listen to this. and Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what a, what a Bajoran is, but okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, I, I think so, you get it from uh, I think you get it from Ikea. <laughs> so, I've never, I, don't, I don't go there. I went there so, one time, and I almost got kicked out. I'm not going back. <laughs> Um, so Austin, the one in 1000, man, yes, it is. But listen, think about this. A comic shop has to order a thousand issues and say their cost is about 50% of what the cover price is. So say three ninety nine, whatever, four ninety nine, whatever it is. So that's two, two fifty plus shipping for a thousand copies. Then they still have to buy the one, 1000. It's not even gifted. So they have to still pay the Two dollars and some, which again is small, but like, whoa! Could you imagine? So, if you really wanted that book, you'd have to go to your comic shop, hope they give you their price, and get a thousand copies. Holy cow! And I don't think that's going to be a long-term hold. I think that's one that'll end up being a you know few hundred, you know, over the course of time. But, whoo, that's crazy. Uh, Justin, what you working on over there, man? You lettering some comics? No, I uh, took today off. I'm going to work tomorrow, though. <laughs> it's Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to work on Sunday. <laughs> well, I hope everything's going better at home, man. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, Until those yeah. hot toys showed up, huh? <laughs> oh, man. That was... How did that conversation go? Like, honey, I'm sorry I lie to you every day, but now that you're home, I have to fess up. She was just like, two hot toys, huh? And I was just like, oh yeah. Um, you know, they're they've they've they got been delayed. On, they've been on payment plans and you know, I lay away and <clears throat> that's you know, and she accepted that answer. <laughs> um yeah, Kachung. So apparently I was talking to Josh and he said it's supposed to be shipping directly from their office. Uh, so it's not supposed to be shipped via Diamond or whoever Lunar's shipping their stuff. But yeah, he's supposed to be signing stuff, but they have no option for CGC um, to have it as a verified signature. So that's kind of tough for them. But I think I got it. Hold on. I think I got it. I think we're about to have to end this, I think. Final argument. I swear to God, I will leave if, if this sounds stupid, but I think I got it. Think real hard before you say it. I am. I am. I'm going to ask you some questions first. That's never good. If you're leaving the questions up to me, that's not good. No, no, because I, I think it'll help me, but I don't know. All right. Do you agree or not disagree? <laughs> Do I not disagree? Because that's the same thing, Dustin. What? <laughs> Do you, you agree or disagree? Agree twice. Okay. <laughs> Do you agree or disagree? Oh, Jesus. Listen to me now. If you take away, if you take, <laughs> if you take away, if, if Marvel Comics is not producing any movies at all, 
take that whole question that that's out of the question now. There, there's no more Marvel movies are out of the out of the phrase. Okay, if you take away all the spec buying, okay, and and do you think Donnie still outsells Tynan? I think it's irrelevant. No, it's not, and that's why. Absolutely. I'm, okay, okay, and I, I'm gonna this because is you're all on something's killing no, no, children. No, 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 I'm not and going with buying based children. on spec. I'm not going with something's killing children. Listen, listen, Batman doesn't matter. If we're starting a new company, we don't have access to be able to make the big movies, right? Unless somebody buys your IP and they if do. We a have a brand, good. brand, brand new company, though. A good script uh, okay. is a good and script. Answer my script. question. I'm just saying. I just need a yes or no for this question, though. We don't have anybody that's going to immediately like say, "Okay, this guy's going to be the next big bad in this universe." Okay. So somebody picking up that IP is going to be based on on the story, right? If yeah, but crossover. IP, but if you look at crossover, a brand new company that is an independent company, it's going to be based on the story, right? How? No, it's not. What is it going to be based on? On whether or not they think they can make money from it. Long term IP, additional books, novels, TV shows, movies. You look at TKO Studios; they're nothing but a. a pushing out scripts for TV shows and movies and stuff. That's basically what they do. But what I'm saying is like, right, like right now, the reason people, the reason Donnie's out selling everything is because of venom. No crossover was much higher on every list. And that has, I've already eliminated that one because like you I said, can't just eliminate it the reason why crossover is going nuts. Cool. Uh, how about I got, well, I got it. I think I if you're starting a new I company, tiny, no, no, no. to write the better stories that have the ability Dustin. to, to Dustin. make the money. I got it. I got the perfect. I got it. This is this Maybe is how I'm we're gonna win. getting it out the way I was thinking about it when I was taking a leak. Let Justin talk. This this is how we're gonna win this argument. Uh, how about we just take out Donnie Kane's from the argument? So all we're left is the one choice. Done. Wow. He's making fun of you wanting to take out crossover because you just it doesn't it, it doesn't fit your argument. No, that's not what I was saying. I'm saying Donnie's not the, the sole reason that was selling so high. Well, you, you think something's killing the children, the sole reason that was tying in? No, it's because Boom Studio has the first look with Netflix. Nothing to do with tying in. And now that's been that, capitalized people were on. Saying, people were saying that before the first look came. It doesn't no, no. I had the chance of being something great without the first look. Why do you think everybody's freaking out to go back and pick these up? Because they didn't pick it up from the beginning. <laughs> I and think it's now, because the trade paperbacks sold out immediately when the first printing came out. And then everybody started reading it, like John at my comic shop, who enjoyed the story so much hey, he, he wanted to go back and get the original issues. And then the second one came out, and then those sold out too. Subjective. Okay. There's three or four sitting on Josh's Josh's uh, shelf right now. All right. Well, That's Kyle's pooping on you. That's fine. I don't care what anybody says. Tiny wins. He's better. <laughs> and I thought I had it. I thought I had it. And I don't think I got it out the way I thought about it in my head when I was in the bathroom, but I thought I had it. Usually you should probably check a uh, call the doctor if something if you're in the bathroom and something doesn't come out like you thought it was going to. Dustin, you had <laughs> if you would not have been drinking and thought clearly, you had a lot of really good points you could have brought home, but then you got angry and started name calling and it just undercut all of your arguments. I thought that's what you're supposed to do now. No. Oh. No. Well, you should tell Donnie that. Again, irrelevant to the conversation. <laughs> I had I had it in my head good. I was I, I don't remember I don't I don't know how it went, but <laughs> I still think it has a lot to do with the machine behind Donnie. And not but as much they as trust him person. with that, which is says a lot about him and why you should pursue him. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm going with Jeff Lemire. Mm. Really? I, I thought you would pick you'd go Brian K. Vaughn for sure. Well, yeah, I'll, Look, he can do no wrong, but I do love Lemire's work. I'm just I saying, mean, that's like, a, that's a good pick. If you take me <laughs> look, out, baby, on the rules of this argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm taking friggin' James Tynan and 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 Jenny Frizen all day, man. <laughs> Look, and again, I don't carry the way. I think Tynan's a wonderful writer, phenomenal. You can say think, the best. It's okay. Nobody's gonna be mad at you. you already, I, proved I think thing. if already proved your point, you can say he's the best. If I already told you that, like, if I was gonna pick somebody to write a story for me, money owning a company, none of that matters. I'm going with Tynan. But that's I'm, not I'm the conversation. Still I'm still shocked by that. Why? I, I guess I'm. I guess I've. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking that. How do I want to say this? And I'm only talking between the two of them, Justin. Okay. Not, thank you. That. Thank yeah. you. And that's what I said whenever we had the conversation, Justin. Like it's got to just be the two of them because that's where the sparks are going to fly. If you start bringing other people in. Like it, it, it's too broad. And and yes, of course, there's better writers than both of these guys out there. People who have have proven yeah. themselves for way longer. Like I mean, you know, hell, I would have just said Stan Lee and been like, I win. But well, to be no, fair, most I of his artists did those works. I I would not want Stan Lee to write a book in 2020. Oh, we God. didn't establish that. We were just talking in general. If we want to, Stan Lee's made more money in comics than anybody else, I bet. But again, if you look no. at the, no. He created Spider Man. Doesn't mean he got all the rights to everything. He probably sold them off to Marvel, or I mean, not to Marvel, to, uh, to Disney and all that whenever all the money started rolling in. Do you think Kate's will get all the money if Noel makes it in the movies? That's not, okay. <laughs> how did that we roll into that? No, I'm just saying, like, like, Listen, at the He's end of the day, what it, what it always comes back at, to... Like, the, the character that they created, like, nobody tops Stan Lee. At the, at the end of the day, what it always comes back to is that Dustin doesn't like Cates. Doesn't matter what, what we're talking about. Yeah. We could be talking about Miller Lights. And you know what? Miller Lights are cool, but Donnie Cates still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm pretty sure the feeling is mutual. <laughs> oh man what's up chaos dude you missed a night and i think chaos would have been perfect in the chat for this one oh so, hell no because he would have just he would have hammered on me too <laughs> i don't know he might have backed you up with uh uh your time oh, like 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 supposedly like he likes me but i still think he would have hammered on me <laughs> yeah i'm just saying like i i i had uh, i would never argue anything against chaos again although i i was handicapped because i had to argue something i didn't believe in against chaos so <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh justin what would be your hot topic for next month your debate i'd have to think about it i want i want you to come up with something you're passionate about <laughs> something you love oh and then i want you to let me destroy it for you fine you can tell me why the Philadelphia Flyers are a superior franchise compared to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Give me a month and I'll have your hands. Tell you why the Atlanta Thrashers of 1999 were superior. <laughs> oh, is he fighting tonight? Dang. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> goodness, y'all are a mess. I hope y'all enjoyed tonight. It was fun. Um, uh, I'm glad at the end of the day, Dustin didn't shut down and go Mad Max on us. So, well, like, like I said, I, I tried to make sure that, uh, we produced content that would hold people's attention and entertain them. Uh, I think we got some new people in here that have yeah. not commented too much before to, uh, definitely, uh, speak their, their grievances against me. And uh, so that was good. We, we've got some new people in here, and hopefully they'll continue to jump in and comment. Uh, next week, what do you say we get back to uh, normal things? Maybe, well, not normal. Show off. This, this is actually normal, but yeah, let's let's go to a show off next week. What what should be the rules of the show off, Justin? Since uh, uh, you were the only real winner tonight, <laughs> no, 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 been no, the only loser. I, I think we were all losers tonight. <laughs> really. I don't know. I think you guys I'm, both made made way better arguments than me. <laughs> I, uh, I was I fighting know. a losing battle from the start because I knew money after, and numbers were coming in. So <laughs> after after sitting here through this, uh, I can definitely tell you I don't feel like a winner. 
<laughs> Justin's like, I ain't coming up next uh, next week. I do have, I do have a full grown, full blooded blue tick hound. So that's close. That's close. <laughs> oh, dude, I saw on Kachung's Instagram, man. He was like 400 feet up in a tree. He's an arborist. And I was like, dude, that is awesome. And I climbed a cell tower because I used to, I did something in the tower industry. The the cell, actually, it's the cell industry. Um, a blue tick and a red bone. <laughs> but I got like 75 foot on this 330 foot tall. Um, That's higher uh, than I would have went. Uh, microwave I tower? I went. Dude, and I just, I got up to where I could see over the tree line, and I froze. I did not move. I stayed right there. It took two grown-ass men to come talk me down this. I will never admit that. Oh, you wouldn't have had to talk me down. You no, no, I couldn't down. move. I couldn't you move. I, couldn't talk like, go. I can't believe you went up 300 feet. Are you sure it was 300 feet? No, no, the tower was 330. It was a microwave tower. I was only up about 75 to 100 feet, depending on, that's what they were telling me the tree line was at. So oh, I no, the hell was that, too. I was like, it was in Marietta, Dustin. Do you know where? Um, uh, the oh, hell was 100 feet. I ain't going that high. The highest dude. I've climbed is probably about 60 feet on a lull. Well, not a lull, but but uh, mm -hmm. a, a basket. And, and I mean, this he had this thing wide open, and we're about 60 feet. Just, oh, 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 oh. And I'm up there with Carl, and he's on the phone driving this thing. <laughs> no. I, I, oh, I was like white that. knuckling them bars. Oh my god! All right. Well, any other comments, concerns, or anything like that for the night before we wrap it up? This is supposed to be the early the, night. What, what, what do you think the rules for the uh, the show off should be? The chat says raw books, but I mean, guys, know. we're six away from twenty five hundred. Uh, Chaos, can you can uh, one of your or all of your sixteen uh, channels? Hit subscribe. <laughs> Southern Comic Geek was doing his giveaway one time, and he was needing. He said he wanted like fifty people watching to do a giveaway. So I opened up like six tabs and created channels to watch. <laughs> I was like, "Here, do your giveaway. Give these people a book." <laughs> That's funny. So, so what should we do for the show off next week? Well, uh, chat seems to think it should be raw. So is it raw books that we've already shown or can we reuse the raw books? I think we should. I, th I don't think we should like, I think we should try to stray away from books we've already shown. Okay. So maybe do raw well, books and like pick a, pick a certain thing. Like the chat picked one thing. You pick another, another rule or whatever. Okay. So uh, I don't know. They have to have <laughs> purple on the cover. Have to have purple. Why all your submariners got purple or something? <laughs> nah, bro. That Riri got purple on it. <laughs> all your Star Wars. <laughs> so, yeah, they must have light tapers. Raw cover. We'll talk about it and figure it out. Raw cover. Yeah, I need time to think about it. Raw fresh pickups. Uh, oh, Panda, dude, we ain't seen you all night, bro. Thanks for hopping in. That's right, nine points. Right, so I like this. All day only, we got nine point twos out here, bro. Only, only raw books you picked up this month. This month. Okay. Justin, okay. you good with that? Just, but that's that handicaps Justin. He only picks up brand new stuff. Okay. Have you seen his X Men collection that he's picked up this month? I don't know. I don't know the man's personal life. I do because we, we hunt the books for him. <laughs> yeah. I like this. I literally do no work and you guys do it all for me. I'm saying <laughs> we take care of this man. All right. <laughs> That's Maybe his payment, that, man. That's how we pay 90 days. Man. Huh? 90 days? Past 90 days? How about, how about, how about raw James Tynan books in your collection? <laughs> <laughs> or we could do Tynan and Kate's books raw in your collection. No, that still handicaps Justin because he don't, he don't get all that. And I would smoke both of y'all anyway, so. Man, see, it's when you make comments like that and then you lose that we all get in trouble. I probably would lose because all my best Tynan books are at CGC right now. So, <laughs> Yes, Austin, extra points if your name is on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
We'll um, figure it out. We'll figure something out. Maybe we'll go like bronze age or silver age or something like that. We'll do like a price, like a 15 cent or a 20 cent or something like that. Anything in your collection, raw, 15 or 20 cent. That work for you, Nick? I'm thinking. I didn't go 12 cent because I know you don't have many. I think you got like maybe like less than 10 or five, maybe less than five. Hold on. I do have all these. Yeah, but uh, only one of them is a 12 center, I think. All three are, but okay. Are they all three? Oh, I thought it moved into a 20 cent after that. Okay. So Actually, no, I know what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is that because elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so I want to do, <laughs> I want to do, oh man, I'm so proud of myself for this. I want to do I raw. Like screwed. <laughs> raw. <laughs> if you say Star Wars, I'm not showing up. <laughs> no, no. I want to do. I want to do. So the rule is that you can't show off anything that you've shown off before, right? Like, so whatever we show off this time, you're not able to show it off in the future, right? Okay. Is that is that the rule that's being established? Yeah, we'll say that. Like, unless, yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll say. Okay, that. Uh, then I want the show off to be. Uh, I thought he was going to say you can't show anything you've ever shown off. I'm like, well, you win. You've only shown off like three X Men books ever. <laughs> Wait, what? Say that again. I thought you were going to say we couldn't show anything we've ever shown off on our channels because I'm like, no, well, no, no, you're no. On the least amount no. of books, so you can use any X Men book you want. <laughs> You can't show off the the books that we showed the last time we did a show. Right, off. nothing we've shown off in okay. the last show off. So whatever we show in the next show off, you can't use again in the future. Right, right. All right. So uh, next, next, next show off, I want it to be uh, raw books and all saber tooth covers. Okay. So y'all just giving me the win because I don't think Nick even has one. Uh, I'll I think go buy you, a dollar worth of saber tooth books. You, you need to look at the bigger dollars. picture. Oh, I know you're trying to handicap me, but like, I'm I mean, not trying to handicap you. I'm trying to make it so you can never show a saber tooth book off again. That's what I'm saying. Like you're trying, <laughs> but like, what are you guys going to show off next week? I mean, <laughs> I'll go buy some dollar books. That's all doesn't, saber tooth is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll never have to talk about saber tooth again. Yeah, but the show's going to suck ass. Everybody knows who's going to win. Oh, man. Because, of course, I have all the best Sabretooth covers. I've, yeah, they I've, cost you like 50 cents a piece. No. No. We'll come up with something. We did. Right. Sabretooth covers. Yeah, but like I said, that's that's not it's not a competition. You, you don't think that I have saber tooth covers that you don't have? I don't think you have better saber tooth covers than I have. Well, I think we, I'm committing to it. I think we do saber tooth covers. Okay, fine. Fine. It's happening. It's fine. That's fine. It's happening. Fully committed. We're going to do Captain America next, so I can't ever show Cap again, too. I promise no, no, I'm going to go down that road. That much. I promise y'all don't want to have that fight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I won't hook something up with Josh. Josh don't have a Captain America book you can afford or would stick out the money for that would even touch. Yeah, rephrase that second one. Would stick the money out for. Yeah. I'll go pick up an Avengers 4 right now. You keep messing with me. No, you won't. I promise you won't. Keep on. You won't drop the money on one, dude. I don't I'm have having a hard time considering dropping the money on one when I get a chance. That book has flown up this year by like a couple hundred bucks already. 3.0 is is almost a almost a thousand dollars. I'll go sell some hot toys. You wouldn't drop the money on an Avengers four because you Superhero, would. Superhero, what's your question? Terrified that if you spent the money on it, whether how long it would take you to get it back out just for one show. Let us do a Captain America night. I will have the Avengers four in my hand. Yeah, because Josh, will, you'll get Josh to let you take it home and use it. No, he. You really think that man will let, trust me with that? I wouldn't. 
I absolutely think he would. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't touch me on Cap. I promise you. All you right, might, so, so yeah, you might go buy an Avengers four. You get one round. I will buy. I will win nine rounds. All right. So once wheelchair asks his question, we will probably call it a night. I gotta go read some Invincible. I'm already looking up Sabretooth covers that I know that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many me and you are both going to use. Because <laughs> I can already think of two that you're going to, or three possibly, that you're going to use that I'm thinking about using. <laughs> uh, which ones? Which ones? <laughs> 213, 222, and Wolverine 10. Oh, I, I know I have all of those. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh man, he has some cool covers though. I'm oh, basically yeah. showing off saber tooth one, two, and three, and that's all I got. Yeah, I gave you those. <laughs> Actually, no, I still have them. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying I gave you them. Do you have any Power Rangers team up with Justice League and TMNT? Um, so I am sending you, like I said, I am sending you the the TMNT Power Rangers. I was waiting. I just got the books uh, to add to that from Nick. Um, but, uh, I do have a couple of those justice league power Rangers. Um, I'll see which ones I have, man. I'll see which ones I have. Hey, Gotham underground wants you to pay him. Where's he did at? You, did, uh, uh, an in Instagram. Oh, on Instagram. I'll check it out. Tosh says raw Jim Lee covers. I don't even know how many of those I have. I mean, I'll show like all the X-Men ones. <laughs> <laughs> Justin is like already hitting these he, these saber tooths up. Yeah, uh, just because nothing would bring me greater joy than to take your favorite character and win every single round. Just how confident are you that you can? How confident am I? Yeah. Well, um, I'm pretty sure I have every saber tooth cover that you have, so I'm feeling pretty good. The how are you going to beat me when we're using the same books? People like uh, him better. By tying, it's a win for me. Oh, my God. But I know I've got books you don't have that I'm going to use. That's fine. Like, to All me, right. the best Sabretooth cover, I know you don't have it. What's the best Sabretooth cover? Oh, we're going to make the 9-2 and 9-8. I promise you. I promise you. What's What's the best Sabretooth cover? Why would I tell you so you can go get it this week? I promise you I won't buy it. All right. To me, the best Sabretooth cover is is, is a tie between this one. <laughs> Do you really have that? <laughs> Do you really? Why would you buy that if you shit on the character all the time? <laughs> because, I buy, because I buy every X-Men book. I swear I would I did not think you would have that. What about that? Um he's there, there's it's almost like it's a one shot. It's almost like a trade, and it's just saber tooth. Um whoa. Easy. Um do you What's have up, any do you have any of like just the saber tooth stuff? Have a good night, superhero eighty seven. Uh solo series? The back to nature. Do you have that one? I'd have to look. This one. Oh, that's a pretty good cover. I'll have to check. Yeah, it's like a square bound. It's a big book. Yeah, I've got like I've got like all of the Sabretooth and Mystique. Oh, I've got the whole mini series. I've got the Ravencloth series. I've got I mean, you definitely knew what you were doing when you said I can't because I know you were making sure I couldn't use Iron Fist 14. <laughs> I've got an Iron Fist 14, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but mine's an 8.5. What's yours? I don't even remember. Is it graded? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't even know you had that book, dude. Uh, Iron Fist was... Uh, Marvel Premiere and, and Iron Fist was the first like series that I tried to complete. Hmm. All right. All right. I think it's time. I'm tired. This was the short night. We still went three full hours. So, Justin, tell everybody to go follow you on Twitter. Hey, everyone. Follow me on Twitter, at Justin Birch. 
or in, I guess you're on Instagram, but you never actually get on there. Ooh, wait till we do Turtles Night. Y'all ain't gonna beat me on Turtles Night. Instagram is just too much work for me. Why Randy, didn't I do turtles? Why didn't I go with hey, we have to do turtles? <laughs> Randy, man, I'm glad you got to hang out with us too. Uh, and everybody in the chat, all the new subscribers, all of our oldest subscribers, we truly appreciate you guys. Um, like we say, you guys are, are the best part of what we do. Uh, and then obviously Dustin getting dunked on in debates is the second best part. Um, <laughs> uh, but guys, we, we do truly appreciate you. We love you. This is you know why we do these shows is to interact and hang out with you all. And um, Giveaways you know, next week. That's Ooh. right. And this is the last week to join the the bro box for january uh to be entered in the drawing on saturday so you have until we go live saturday night to be entered in perry we appreciate you <laughs> getting drunk on basically uh perry have a good night um and do us a favor check out all of our um people who are members who do content as well on here that'll be down in the description below check out six ones like legitimately check out six one six berserkers uh covers coming out dude those things might be the best ones on the market uh, and that is me stepping away from being a partner with 616 in terms of uh, them sponsoring us. Legitimately, those things are sick. And Justin? Just like the Department of Truth and Ha Ha that they did were oh, yeah. definitely the best ones of those. As always, guys, <laughs> I'm going to start popping those up. Boom. Collect your way. <laughs>